Čo teda ste usadení? Ideme sa pozrieť na old chatíček pekne, teda na cast of clowns. So I put an Instagram story out when I saw Skeeter's uh, sash on stream. And oh, I said there's right. no way I'm losing a tournament until this, like, to this guy unshaven. And then he just popped in today, no beard, no mustache. Hey, hey, hey. Čo sa vám viac, Oliver, keď mal uh, mustáš, alebo proste vole to, trošku ako sa tam objavovali nejaké, uh, nejaká brada, rozumiete, niečo ako na tvary, alebo uh, máte radšej Olivera fully shaved. Vidíte, že ten mustáš mu celku sedel, ale on akoby osobne sedí do toho takého ako clean stylu. Hey, hey, hey. And, I, and I basically just said, I got bullied by my mom to shave. Oh. A, ale, ale, ale Lenka, ale, 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 no tak, veď, ale, tak chvíľku je Oliver doma, ty vole, a nemo, d- 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 milionára nemôže si nechať ani mustáš. Ale, ale, ale... Oh, damn. So you didn't, you didn't do it for Aidens? Tam ale nejde nič, no, keď ako by povie mamina, tak nejde nič, čo teda. Tu ako by vidíte, že môžete vyhrať TI, môžete vyhrať čo chcete, ale mamina vám povie, že sa máte oholiť. Tak. To je <laughs> Našťastie u mňa to nefunguje, pretože to mamina ako by skúšala už 10 rokov, ale... The benefit? No, no. The, I mean, what do you mean? The, the goal was to beat him with the beard on. That would be the, that would be the goal. <laughs> It would have been good. I would have been good. Then, uh, I mean, well, I guess, uh, welcome everybody to all chat, uh, another episode. Our guest here, Skeeter is going to be joining us. Uh, Skeeter, I wish this was on, uh, better terms. I wish it was on better terms. Um, uh, you know, but I'm not so sure late. that my fellow podcast mates, uh, wish it was better uh, in that. I, I <laughs> don't do think. Mean? What, what do so I you mean? Know, you know, well, it, it is, what do you mean? Well, this is literal, this is literal optimal terms. Not, <laughs> not, none of us won. Presne, ani, ani jeden z nich nevyhral ten posledný Elite League. Uh, jako by. That's, so like, that's what I'm saying. I wish yeah. we were coming into this and Skeeter had won. We could talk about you know, that. Wait, but, hold on, hold but on, I know hold on. A- tak sa mi to páči, Cap. Cap like, chce, aby to, aby to vyhral Oliver. Tak. Áno, správne. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does not Wait, what is, what does that mean? That be the case. You, don't win, you don't wish me or Quinn won? Hello? <laughs> I wish all of you guys could win. Dude, this... No, určite. Jasné, že tam ako by... Oliver lepší, ako by... Čas... Caster is so ugly. But frankly, he's our guest. He's guest in our home, Aiden. This guy is so biased, man. You know, I have a comeback for this. Because I was, I was thinking about... I was looking at the, the Gladiator streak from last year, right? Because I was like, people are saying maybe the Falcons are the new gladiators. And I was looking Chcete at the, the streak, right? And they're like... Chcete tam čo to je? Ja, tam, ja, ja tam hodím možno akoby rovno aj tie titulky. Aby ste akoby keď tak niekto... Uh, kto netuší anglicky, tak aby ste tušili. Well, a bunch, teda, of, bunch of shit, but... Then I look at the price pools and I was like, what was happening last year? So, like, you guys got kind of scammed, you know? It looked kind of... <laughs> yeah, kind of... <laughs> Uh, je pravda, že ten minulý rok presne, tie, všetko, čo vyhrali gladiátory, akoby, to neboli nejaké miliónové price pooly, ani jedno, no, je to ako pravda. Je to trošku akoby debata, kde sa akoby bavia, um, bavia z, trošku ako zbohatlíci o tom, uh, Um, či je akoby lepšie vyhrať vole 500 tisíc alebo 300 tisíc, ale, ale... Maybe, uh, obviously this year we've got a bunch of million dollar tournaments for some reason, but I kind of doubt that will continue, so, you know. E, ja si práve myslím, že PGL ohlásilo ty vole tie turnaje veľké až do 2026, alebo do kedy. A si myslím, že tým sa, jak sa to vypustilo akoby z toho DPC systému, tak teraz, akože ten, tento rok je t- taký ako prvý, kde sa tak ako rozbehnú aj všetky tie iné, podľa mňa ako organizácie viac. A podľa mňa ako tých turnajkov bude kľudne takto ako kotel. Maybe five years in the future you'll look back on that and be like, oh, that year was pretty good. I mean, you say that, but I was like also looking at, you know, there's the Ramses 5000 major winner and I was looking at the tournaments he won and back then it was like a... Huh? So come on, but no half a milli for each tournament, you know? Like, it was actually yeah. 50% cut. So even now, like, the tournaments we won are not even, like, half a milli, because, like, the, the cuts are way, like, lower, because nowadays people think every team deserves to get some cut that goes to their tournament. You, you don't think that? <laughs> no, I, I 100% don't think that. Oh, Do you think I some mean... teams should leave with... 
to je celku, to je celku hot take, dobrý, no, že by nemali být možno jako zase tak odmeňované ty slabší týmy, ale mal by být možno větší price pool, pěte větší. No, to je vždycky taká ta dvojsečná sekera, že jako jo, samozřejmě, že chceš mít jako vždycky pro vítěza podle mě jako nejvíc a tam jako kludně malo být podle mě 50% alebo něco podobné jako s tou price poolu pro toho vítěza priamo. Ale zase jako by pro ty slabší týmy je za mě jako extrémně podstatné. Uh, prostě aj nějaký, já ja nevím, vole 12 placement, alebo tak, keď má nějaký price pool, alebo já ja nevím 15, tak pro některé týmy z těch, co já ja vím, jako chudobnějších regionů a tak, je to jako celku podstatná věc, tam aspoň něco jako zarobit, že jo. Že je to také, že prostě potom jako mať turnaj, keby zarobili iba čo ja vím, prvá to 8, jako zo 16, alebo tak. Je to sice jako prestižné a tak, ale za mě jako je dobré, že tam jako i ty týmy, které se tam dostanou, tak tam dostanou nějakou menší částku, jako by. Zero? Yes. What, where do you think the cutoff should be? Well, well, I'm not exactly sure where it should be, but I know the winner should at least get 50%. Why 40, stop there? 40, 40, 40 right. to 50, I think. <laughs> Peter, why stop there? I winner take like, all? Wait, should, no, just like wherever Falcons plays. Below gets nothing. No, 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 no. no. Listen, I, I, that, that's why. That's why I started by saying I felt bad for gliders because I felt like, you know, I f I think it should be better for winners. Like, don't you feel like second? it's a bit harsh, like a TI, like the old TIs, where it's like I don't know, they're playing this one best of three, and if you win the best of three, you get a like two hundred thousand dollars, and if you lose, you get nothing. <laughs> That's the life. They like, they like pants you and like push. That's the life. Ale ale no, jako by Oliver je v tom to jako by base do čivit ne, jako ne, že ne. Ale no, jako je to také prostě, že aj tam jako když je tam, čo ja vieme, nevím, top 16 týmů většinou, dajme tomu, nebo tak, to je jako za mě nějaká top 12, alebo, nebo když aj dostane, jako že tých, ta, tam, tam není hlavně zase taký velký rozdíl, že jako by ten price money je rozdělený jako město 12 alebo 16 týmů, tam jde o to, jaké, jako to percentuálně jako by rozhodia. Jo, že tam jako by můžu dát jako méně tým druhým, třetím, čtvrtým, pátým týmům, ale zase, či je to jako lepší. Trošku jim jako odobrať a nějaké jako by ty drobné tam dát tým jako low týmom, úplně low týmom. Tím prostě, že skončí jako by někde na konci. Ne, a kým máte na to názor vejčet. Push you out on stage, you know, and that's your fucking reward. No, okay, let me, let me tell you another, another argument. So I was, I think it was last year again, right? Like, I was looking at the price cuts for first place and second place, and honestly, there was not that big of a difference. Like, I think the second place should feel like a, so, so much worse than the first one. Like you should get like half of the first. You see what I mean? Skeeter just here to bully me or what? It's a tag, no. Insane. I just realized that all the other places of liquid which exist, I would have given him more. No, no, no. Bully me. No, no. For example, no, no. But first of all, this tournament, right? First place was 300k, which I think yeah. is too low. But the uh -huh. second place was 150. So you basically yeah. only get 50%. So you feel worse by getting second because you're like you could get double of that, you know. And I feel like you should always feel this way if you get second. Or should be like that. Z druhého na třetí místo, kdyby to bylo jako double, vždycky to není jako by bedno, ale. I mean, well. I feel like this is like the group of people that should have the least say on this, considering our results true. like last year. E, e, jo, já ja si prostě myslím, tam, tam sedí a ty vole prostě ty vole nejdominantnější, vole tři zástupce, a vole povali troch týmů, ale ne úplně jako by teď prostě, ale jako i tak prostě, jo, tam zástupce a povali to vole 8 týmů na světě, jako by dajme tomu. Takže to samozřejmě, že se budu bavit o tom, že by mohli mít větší price money za prvé, vole druhé, třetí příčky do píči. A nebudu úplně givovat fakt ty vole nad tými, vole tam 12, 16, vole cápkami, jo, někde. Jako, jako... Here this year. But I do get where you're coming from and it does like feel like maybe you know, you want first place to be like a bigger chunk of the pool. I, yeah. I get what you mean. But I don't know if we're like the right people to. I don't, I don't agree though numbers. that it should be zeros. Like I feel like I feel like first being way bigger than second. I think that's that makes sense. But I think then second, like trailing off, should be like it should be a very gradual increase to second, and then first is wee. But like I, the zero to me is like that's a bit harsh. I mean, okay. The problem is, I had this argument with my teammates. I said, I think every tournament, when you win, you should be between 40% to 50. And they said, the reason why this cannot really work is because then you would have to cut the price pool of the lower place teams. And I and I said, you know, even if you take it to that extreme, I don't really care. Give them zero, you know? But, okay. Oh, from Oliver, absolutely based. Right, you're not going to do anything. 
my na vrchu pěkně zlížeme tu smotanu. Third place, Nech tam žeru hovna ty vole dole. And then like from all like third, fourth, fifth, sixth, we'll just take from there and put it on first. And keep it for like because the teams that are placing at the bottom run it, run it. probably also have the lowest salaries and they need like the tournament prize winnings more. So where where's the cutoff in your head, Skeeter? Okay, so like, let's say there's sixteen okay. teams. Where where's the cutoff? Who who doesn't make money off of that? Uh maybe let's make it top twelve. No, to je reasonable, okay. podle mě. So, uh, OK, so 20 teams. Zo 16, jako by mať 12, které jako by budu mať prize money, OK, ale tam podle mě není zas taky velký rozdíl toho, že, že prostě dostanu nějaké drobné a i ty další 4 týmy do těch 16. Jako to, to mi nepríde úplně jako, že víš co. Where's the cutoff there? That's too many teams for a land. Well, <laughs> there are lands with 20 teams. You are in a couple of them. There were a lot of lands Hello? with 20 teams. Yeah, but I feel like that's too that's too many teams, you know. Okay, so let's say that's that's also another reason why, like when I was talking about the Rams this time, where they were beasting on VP back then, you could have 50% for like a half a million for the winner because you only had like how much was it? Top 12 teams, maybe. Yeah, tournament. but that year was a bit specific because there were 800 billion tournaments and there was like quintuple the amount of money in the year than any other year. Like that year was a bit schizophrenic. Yeah. Yeah, that was the year where there were 8, 6 majors, 4 minors, and I don't know what it was going on. So, 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 uh, so, uh, it's good for you, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I was fucking shit. What do you mean? I didn't, I didn't know anything. I mean, hypothetically. Yeah, exactly. But Oliver was like... Vyhrával jako celku hovna, jako že dovtedy, jak vyhrali že Stun Drag, jako TI, tak dovtedy, jako tam nesvětil. So, Skeeter, give me, give me an, for a 20-team land, how, uh, where, where's the cutoff there? All right, listen, I didn't think through that through it that much, so I don't want to say some, <laughs> okay, you know, some, some bullshit at this point. No, I, feel like I was just asking really because at Riyadh Masters, you placed 9 through 12. So, I was, I was wondering if you were saying you dude, should for, have not dude, made for, money for that one. For that tournament, we should have... You know, we had like the Saxa dropped out in the middle of the tournament. We had to AOI to step in. Mm -hmm. To us, that that part that part of the year was, I mean, for me, I mean, for everyone, was kind of rough because coming back to in preparation to rehat, we actually had literally 100% win rate in scrims. We did not drop a single game, mm -hmm. so we are like going to the tournament extremely confident. You know, everyone is like feeling themselves, and then you know the problems that occurred occurred. Saxa had to drop out, AOI had to step in. And then we did survive a group stage. We won like some freeway tiebreakers with like Shopify and TSM, I think. And then we kind of were slowly gaining confidence. And then we played against gaming gladiators. We were like, okay, time to expose them for the frauds they are, you know? And then <laughs> we didn't manage to do it. We lose. And then it felt like shit because those games, like, <laughs> I feel like we just threw, you know? I mean, y'all, I mean, you know, you know, in game one and three, you had a hundred percent win rate uh, on yeah. Dota Plus, both games. Yeah, that was that was some unreal crap. Because it would be it would be like a great storyline for in that in that tournament. It didn't give a fuck about the money. It was more about we were so close to beating the 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 giants of the season. You know, with the fucking coaches are standing. You know, that would be like a crazy storyline. Mm -hmm. But, but then slow. you know, it didn't really end up happening. So j just to be clear to the audience, uh, Skeeter, you have walk the walk in that regard, in that you have played in some lands where you actually placed low and you did not get any money. Uh, yes. The last one I looked up was Arlington. When you guys played in Arlington, yeah. Tundra, you guys bombed out of that one. There was no prize for money below eighth place, I believe, for that tournament. Yeah, it's, it's completely fine. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. You, you and so you guys kind of agree with that then? No, I zero. I don't agree at all. <laughs> I, I, I also zero totally percent agree because I think the teams that need okay, okay. There's like let's say the top eight generally top eight placing teams have like good enough salaries that they can live off of them. Easily and live a good life. Yeah, but it's just like that. The vrchné týmy, jako to prize money, jsou nemějí jako velké a krásné a tak dále, jo. Ale ty ty top týmy to nepotřebují, jakože na to, aby ty hráči mohli jako existovat a mít nějakou jako budoucnost a tak dále. A jakože jo, je to samozřejmě jako krásné tam vyhrát nějaký volně, nevím, kolik sto tisíc dolarů a tak podobně jako zase a boostnout to jako to jako není bad. Ale prostě to je důležité hlavně pro ty, pro ty jakoby, tier 2, nebo ty 
týmy, které se tam jako chcou prebojovat, které mají povedzme jako menší organizáciu, alebo prostě celkovo menší vole budgety a všetko možné. To je přesně ty to low price pooly, které jsou za ty jako uh, za ty, já nevím, 12 až 16. místo, alebo něco tak, jak je to tam bývá. Tak to jsou většinou jako drobné, ale to jsou jako drobné, aby prostě i tým slabším týmům se zaplatili čo nevím, nějaké jako expenzis, aby se zaplatili nějaké tam mole píčoviny, já nevím, letenky prostě mole, a záležitosti a ľudia okolo a ty hráči a tak dále, ale furt je tam jako ten plat nějaký jako u nich vždycky, no. And I think like remembering back to like my earlier days, you know, if you're like placing last at tournaments, like the small difference between like I don't know 20k to 50k or like whatever or whatever, I don't know the price money. But like whatever that amount is is huge. It's like life changing when you're there. It's like the difference between survival. Jo, je pravda, že přesně jako by to je rozdíl mezi tím, či budeš mať Jo, keď vyhráš presne iba, ja neviem, 10 tisíc dolárov, alebo 20 tisíc dolárov, alebo vyhráš nulu, tak je to prostě kurva ako rozdiel. Ale zase tých 20 tisíc tam neurobí, alebo 10 tisíc tam neurobí zas taký ako obrovský skok od nejakého ako toho prvého miesta, že by sa to ako uberalo, podľa mňa, no. Tam je čisto jedno o to, že potrebujeme, kurva, aby boli väčšie prize money. Like not making it through a qualifier or not. But let me, let me... Some SEA team or something, I feel like it matters a lot. And I think SEA teams as well. So I feel like if anything, I'd be down to like like the bet move placements at tournaments, you know, like fifth, sixth to eighth, like that range to lower it there and then like keep the lo lowest amount and then increase the first place. I think that, that oh, but, but but did you forget what happened that year? Like everyone was getting paid for DPC. Yeah, but you well that was like that's gone now though, no? Well yeah. So But very happy with that because <laughs> basically everyone in, in division two and division one was getting Pretty good money, uh, regardless of the place. And I feel like that was bullshit. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, jako ten, ten systém je jako by taká ta presie zase jako dvojsečná sekera v tom, že to bylo být jako by na to, aby se podporovali i ty tier 2 týmy a aby tam byla nějaká prostě, no, aby tam byly ty týmy, které jako můžu prostě nějak se stoupat a mají nějaký jako lepší základ ze celou tu sezónu, protože si tam mají nějaký ten plat a to DPC bylo nastavené podle mě jako retardovaně v tom, že tam fakt jako od prvého po to u osmé město nebyl skoro žádný rozdíl jakoby v tom price money, jakoby v tom, alebo v tom platě, alebo jakoby za to jako tam nazvali za to DPC, jo. Takže ono to bylo také jako že make, ale potom zase to nějak jako prenáša do toho, že by tým pádom, že je DPC, uh, že by že by jako nemali být prostě price money pro ty low teamy, to mi jako nepřijde úplně yeah, yeah, tak důležité. Sure. Like, because like, because like all the money that you guys could have, because you, you, you two did pretty well last year, all the money that you guys could have had from those tournaments was basically spent on less fortunate teams in DPC leagues. Because I think it was like 300k per each division. Yeah, something like that. So that's a lot. No jasně, jako by to bylo to DPC, tak samozřejmě, že tam byly jako peníze, které by mohly jít do těch prize money, ale další jako by záležitost je, že kdyby to nedali do toho DPC, tak by to podle mě reálně poznáme jako Gabena do píči a tak dále. A hlavně jako by ty prize money často jako ty dávají prostě čajem to ISL, alebo vole ten, nerozumíš, ten Riad, alebo někdo taký, že to, 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 to na to DPC tam dávali jako by peníze přímo Valve a osobně si jako nemyslím, že keby jako nedávali vůbec do toho DPC nějaké jako by ty prize money a byli by tam čisto iba na turnajoch, tak to podle mě neznamená, že ty turnaje by mali vole o 300 tisíc jako viac prostě prize pool alebo něco. Jo, malo by to úplně podle mě to jisté, jako to mali, akorát ty lidi by mali prostě méně, lebo by tam jako nebyl ten DPC, jako šet si myslím, jako realistický. A lot of money if you combine it all, like with Division 2 and Division 1. Ale jako For no. sure, but it's not like we, okay, it's not, I don't know, do you feel like you did not get paid enough last year, Quinn? I don't feel like I didn't get paid enough No, and I, I also don't think conceptually spreading it out like that is bad. You can argue about it in practice or if like giving... Jo, jo, ono je také blbé sa o tom, jako, uh, protože to je také to presne, že sa jako milionári, alebo niekto tam vyhráva ty najväčšie prize money, baví o peniazok, jo, takže ono to tak jako vyznieva proste, jako bubo úplne to chápať. Money to teams in Div 2 actually does anything, like is some Div 2 team in NA, is that actually gonna like incentivize them to become professional players, you know, like grow the scene, likely not. But like the concept of spreading that money out, like I may be an American, but like, i don't like the person at the top doesn't need all the money, you know. I think if anything, there's a little bit too, <laughs> you know. We don't, we don't need to get into that, but like, it's <laughs> it's uh, I'd say it's a bit it's a bit much. Like I don't know. If first is already 50%. Do we really need to take like last place 
you know, some SAC team, whatever, who like the dollars mean like, so holy crap, it's a dollar, you know, like <laughs> to really need to like take that away. So like first place. Ja si takisto úplne myslím, že, že to ako ne, nedáva úplne zmysel, že tam ako kľudne na tých hlavne najväčších turnajoch odmeniť už všetky týmy, ktoré sa tam dostali, ako odmenu za to, že čo prešli tou kvaldou, alebo mali dobrý výsledok akoby predchádzajúcich ako turnajov a tak ďalej, je podľa mňa ako OK. Presne na ten základ pre tie ako slabšie týmy, nazvime to menšie týmy, menšie organizácie. No. Like, you know, like, ako, je mi jasné, že Falcons ako organizácia to úplne ako nepotrebujú. Tebo, jo, ako, uh... I watched your guest uh, episode with the Seb, right? And you guys did the tier list. Uh, with the controversial tweets or whatever. Yeah. I was, I only, I, I was looking for the Fara tweet. I know, I know. I, that was, was my that? bad. That was my bad. You can put... Ten tweet si absolútne pamätám. Ten to bol ako vynechaný, ale ten tweet na Fatu bol, keď odišlo vtedy, uh, že ho ešte z Tundráku, alebo to ešte neboli ako oni. Oni proste vyhodili Fatu, dajme tomu, čo bol ako kapitán. A potom to nahradili proste a všetci boli, že hej, tak ten, tak ten tým pôjde do hoven proste. A vtedy dával Seb presne ten tweet, že, že pôjdu ako do hoven, že to bol najhorší decision vyhodiť Fatu. A nakonec sa to absolútne <laughs> celé otočilo, že potom vyhrali tí aj, no. Put that on me. I forgot to put in the, the fodder tweet. That would have been know, a I was, like, I was like emotionally invested in that one and you're just not there, you know? <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, okay, so if I had put in the fodder one, uh, <laughs> what were you looking for, Skeeter? I thought it was S tier, 100%. No contest. Yeah. Uh, so, do, oh, okay, so I heard... Um, It was in the, it was actually one of the post game interviews. Um you said you were watching some Counter Strike lately and you yeah. were trying you've been trying to put yourself out there a little bit more. Be a little yeah. bit more of a of, of a heel. I I'm, I'm sorry you're not doing it compared to your teammates right now. Your teammates are a little outshining you. <laughs> Absolutely super true. Ale je pravda že Oliver presne povedal akoby v tom rozhovore a posledy, že pozeral aj nejaké tam CSK tak a že Uh, viac, ako chcel byť ako Oliver nejaký prieborný, nie že prieborný, ale taký ten, že viac sa ako ukázať s tým, že tam občas dáš nejaký ako old chat, alebo ja neviem, občas tam proste, víš co, hodíš nejaký tweet a takéto veci, ako by no. Right there. Ale je vidieť presne Amara Malrin, ktorý tam dávajú vole smiley facey do piči a clowns do old chatu, že ono. No, But I'm I... learning, I'm, I'm learning. It's good, Listen, it's I'm good. learning. So <laughs> because in because way I, how I operate as a person is that I try to always steal something from everyone I encounter you know there's like always yeah. something that someone can excel at and I'm like you know I can add it to myself and when it comes to Maureen and uh, Amar like I try to guide them that there should be limit to this like uh, ultra and banter but at the same time I fucking love it and I wish there would be more teams that would like uh that would like involve themselves into this because at the end of the day like as long as you can emotionally kind of distance yourself from these things like it will only do good for the scene there's going to be more social interactions like more engagements you know there's more like like viewers there's more stakes there's like úplne úplne absolútne ale súhlasím s celým týmto old chatom presne som to ako by dneska hovoril že za mňa je to plus old chatovanie to drama okolo toho a všetko toto je podľa mňa ako dobrá vec proste pre dotu, pre tú komunitu celkovo, aby to ako žilo a tak, inak proste by to bola kurva nuda. Ako do piči tam všetci proste by iba hrali a tak a nebola by tam úplne taká tá záležitosť, že niekedy proste sa nejakí hráči ako nemusia mať proste radí alebo niečo a proste cítiš tam, je v tom také ako väčšie napätie zrazu, keď tam niekto ako napíše a neviem, proste proste otáznik do olčetu alebo tak. Je to taký úplne hú. Uh. Jo, že, oh, oh, oh. Jo, jo, proste, je to taký dobrý moment, je to čisto iba plus. Yeah, I think it only brings good. Yes. Unless, unless, you're you're thinking, you unless obviously you cross some limits, you know. I need to ask you a very, a, a question that has been burning in my mind ever since that finals. Ooh. Or actually before your guys' first matchup against Extreme. Yeah. Why XM? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Chudák exem si tam vyžeral neskutočne. Can you tell me why? <laughs> That's the thing. There's no reason. They just do it. They just do it like based on feeling. Sometimes Maureen feels like it's gonna all chat someone and that's it. it. It doesn't really go beyond that, you know? So that's why like when people think that there's more to it, it is really not. He just, he just trying to tilt the enemy to give us higher chance to win and that's pretty much it, you know? There's, it... Jo, jo, a ono to akoby proste funguje podľa mňa často. A to je presne, to je záležitosť, ktorá sa podľa mňa akoby stane v tej hre akože 
ten enemy midlaner, ja neviem, misne nejakého proste free creepa, alebo proste urobí nejaký malý misplay, ktorý ako nič, ak zase tak moc neurobi, ale si tam ako s tým na tom mide, dáš mu nejaký ten tip, proste, dáš mu tam nejaký smiley, proste, no, vieš, ako trošku sa osnažíš ako nejak ako rozhodiť, alebo aby si ako pamätal tú chybu, alebo ako to mám povedať, no. Doesn't really go further, to tomu patrí, and, and, I, and I support it. The only time I ever told him that I think he crossed the line is when he played with Boom Dacho and we won the series against Extreme. And he started ultrating him after we already won the series. That's why I was like, this is where you cross the line. It doesn't, it, it only comes across as malicious because you already won the series. Why would you make him feel worse? Like, there's no point to this. True. Like, that's the only time I told him, I think you cross, you're crossing line right now. Don't do that shit anymore, you know? And then he even apologized to him that it's like not sportsmanship behavior. So, so he apologized uh, after that match to XM? He apologized for the last smiley face when the GG was already written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and do you know what? what... Uh, no, no. Yeah, so no problem. There's a shit smiley face. But when we won, I didn't have to write the smiley face. What was their reaction to his apology and stuff like that? I mean, he apologized through Jin and then Jin said something in Chinese, and Snake in China decoded and. He failed, but I think it ended up being like some some friendly banter. I don't I don't know. Okay, know. okay. <laughs> so so basically, you're telling me the the target was arbitrary because I thought it was I thought it was basically because it was Malreen, like it was whoever was in front of Malreen at the time, right? Well, whoever the opposing mid laner is. That was my theory on it, but you're saying it's yeah, just exactly. entirely arbitrary. Oh, okay, more should be. No, I mean it, he he obviously aims for the mid players because you know that's who he's gonna play against. Have you guys ever uh, targeted someone because you think they're the weakest player on the team? Uh, not me. Maybe Amar. <laughs> yeah. But okay. Amar, okay, so Amar, like, there's some logic to Maureen because, like, he targets mid players and mm -hmm. whatever. But Amar, I feel like he usually all chats his friends. So, yeah. like, the Creep Wave members and all these people, and then, then it comes across, like, maybe he's, like, crossing limits, but all those people are his friends. And then the people that he's, like, for example, that was the one when we won that crazy game as extreme game two that we shouldn't have won. And then he also did at the end of the game, tip me more clowns, you know? <laughs> yep. And that was more of like him reacting to them starting something, you know, like they tip yep. him first and then he's like, obviously he needs to step up, you know, and then defend himself. <laughs> so I think that's kind of how he operates. A hundred percent. I've seen uh, Amar, that, me and Avery have a, a role when we're casting, never tip Amar. Never tip Amar. Because that guy seems to get that guy seems to power up from being taunted like that. He gets... Yes, yes, ale Amar je presne ako by ten hráč za mňa, ktorý dostane proste tip za nejaký misplay alebo niečo podobné, alebo za, vole, za to, že ho zabijú, alebo niečo také. A Amar bude hrať o 69% lepšie po tom tipe, no. It's crushed in lane, you tip him, and the, if he clearly, if like a switch goes off, and he's like, I'm, I'm gonna punish you for that, you know? Like, I've seen it too many times. Do you feel any pressure from them tipping, like tipping people? Like, do you do you feel like the looming, like if we lose, the the mighty hand is gonna come down and strike us? <laughs> like, do you feel that at all, or is it a total non-factor? Like, I feel that that the elements are so that you play the carry, you just click on the creepy, and on the other side of the map, there is just your mid laner and off laner. There is no smiley face in the old chat. Kurva, chalani, do píče, tak my tu proste prehráme, tak potom nás tu zožerú absolútne. Ok, that's the funny thing, because I was talking to Kurt about this as well, is that we don't even see it. We literally block it. You don't see it, because you are so focused on the game, and, you know, I have this, I have this tradition that I mute everyone in the lobby already before we play from the opponent, so I don't see the back and forth. And the, the, the time that Amar or Malrin are, are all chatting something, I swear to God, I don't even see it. I don't even see it. To je akože vnímať vlastne ďalších trilión ako vieci proste a nejakú takú okay. dobetu si nevšimne, no ale... Did you, have, did you have either of them muted before they joined your team? No, no, no. I don't, I don't mute anyone in pubs. Okay. Really? No, I don't. I, I love wait, it. No, I wait, love, nobody. I love it. Like, you, you make no. no exceptions. No. What? Interesting. Listen. What? When, when it's on tak Oliver je teda ako kurva chat, ak na publiku nemá nikoho zamutovaného. Ty môj kok. Pops, I'm, go I'm getting involved, you know. I'll talk my shit. <laughs> Oliver bude ten, ktorý sa zapojí. Ja som minule videl klip od Olivera, teda to nenájdeme ako v rýchlosti, ale bol to klip, kde Oliver proste nejaký public 
a někdo mu tam rusky jakoby něčo, něčo jakoby povedal a Oliver nahodil na pán normé ruštinou. Mu tam brzy zajebal normé tri vety, něčo bylo jakoby zlé a úplně to prostě, úplně z ničeho, nič, prostě tam normé rusky zadělil asi tri alebo čtyři vety. A, a prostě to někoho vyhlásil rusky a to je, OK, OK. That's hilarious. I feel like the inverse is so much more fun. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I've gone through the ringer so many times, but like the the pub drivel has I've just gotten tired of it. Like at some point it was fun, but now it's like, man, I've gone through this ringer so many times, like I don't wanna I don't wanna do this again. But like in officials, I, I feel like it's way more fun. Like, I mean I also have everyone muted in officials, so I don't see like if y'all if Mallory's all chatting me, I don't even see, you know. But like I feel like that would be way more fun to drop some parentheses back and back and forth in an official. That sounds way more fun to me. Yeah, they, you know, unmute him and there's gonna be some back and forth, you know? No, they chat <laughs> too much, I can't take the chat. No, 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 but, but the thing is, you think he's only trying to get at you, but, you know, one of your teammates might not have him muted. Maybe he gets affected, you see what I mean? Yeah, I think Anton's the only one who doesn't have people muted in officials. I, so... Anton, I don't know what I'm saying, that Diracio is the same guy who doesn't have anyone muted. Anton is really alive, according to me. He'll get him. People. I feel like if you're muting people, you already lost the battle. No, I, don't, hey, oh, I can't oh. take the chat wheels. I don't want some hero, like, muttering some nonsense into the void off cool. Dude, when you play jabs, like, not your jabs, the other jabs. Yeah. Dude, that guy is like, it's like a tick. Like, all game, whenever <laughs> whenever that stuff first came out, it was like insane. My head was going to explode. It's like, a, it was unreal. But do you understand? Now you're saying that it, this gets to you. But you cannot mute tips, so now everyone can tip you. I, no, I don't care about tips at all. That's, I think oh, that's, okay, I think, okay, so, no, okay, so tip, the voice chat gets to you, but not the tips? That yeah, because really like, tips are like, they're, they've been in the game for so long, and tips were like, a, like the thing is, I was like a major target of like the tip meta when it first came out, right? Like, they're like you know, I like die sometime, and I get five man tips. <laughs> they come raining down, right? <laughs> I've tipped like, tip quite a few times in buffs. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was like the, the, the early meta of like tip spamming. I was one of the main recipients of it. You, boom, you just get the, you get the rainbow of tips. So like that I've gotten super <laughs> used to, but I have everyone muted every game. So I never see the voice chat. So that like, I have no, I have no resilience built up towards it. All right, I see. Good comeback. Thank you. Uh, so, Aiden. Yeah. Do you think so? A lot of comparison is made to traditional sports. Smack talk is part of the game, right? It's just it's it's just a part of it, right? But mm -hmm. I said, play aggressive, you play hard, talk some smack. At the end of the day, you shake hands. But what Quinn is saying is he is able to get around that. Would you prefer if the game was uh, was in a way that? You could not mute these things that you had to listen to it like you would in a traditional sports thing. You wouldn't be able to ignore or not hear somebody talking trash to you. Uh, I don't know. I feel like. And ego, samozrejme, že my ako diváci prostě, alebo ja ako komentátor, ako by poviem, že by som rád chcel, aby to nemohli ako mať zamutované, aby ako všetci videli presne ako celý ten old chat a všetky ako tieto veci. Ale... Ja... I mean, personally, I don't, I'm like, I think I'm like two boomers. So I don't really care. I don't get that emotional about it. Like, I'll laugh yeah. most of the time. Like, if Amar, like, tips me or whatever, when I miss a CS, like, I fuck up, make a CS, he'll tip me. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's kind of funny, you know, like, I don't really care. Um, so, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't, I don't care. I feel like people... What are you doing on that? If someone tips you in-game, or someone tips you in the chat, or something like that, do you get it to you? Or do you do it to you? Or how? Poďte, poďte sa prebudiť, čo je tak by poriadne, rozumiete? Ešte máme ako by celku dosť času, máme síce už polnoc, ale myslím si, že ešte ako by do peču budeme mať minimálne nejakú hoďku. Na midu to delám hrozne osobní. Jo, mid je taký podľa mňa celku ako typický v tomto, že hlavne keď čem solo kill než enemy mid lane rá, tak je to také, že aha, aha, yes baby. <laughs> Dá mu to zožrať ešte viac, yes. But okay, to I'm, me, I'm if, I, it, if I mute you, I lost the battle, you know, like, it, it's like, I can't take it, you know? Oh, you already won. Like, I, I muted you, you know, like, GG. That's giving okay, up. I, I, have a, I have a question for you. So, yeah. I don't know, I watched, I watched a little bit of CS, right? So I have, like, uh -huh. a lot of ideas from them. And what they do, there was this one young, young Russian player called Donk or Dorink or some shit. Donk. And then he, oh, he, he, oh, he, oh, he, oh, he literally stands up and starts screaming. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
Dude, okay, Skeeter, when I... Oni ho tam ale zastavili, jakože uh, Dong zrovna presne na tom, uh, jak vyhrali prostě Spiriti vtedy s Dongom mladým. Když jsem to pozerala já a oni ho tam prece, ale nevím, či to bylo v tom, alebo to bylo ještě v nějakých těch skorších kolách, nějakých čtvrtfinálových, alebo něco také. Vím, že dostal nějaký jakože napomenutie od nějakých tam jako referees, alebo nějakých rozhodců, alebo něco také, že, že to ne, nemá prostě tak robiť, ale on tam prostě kričal jakoby věci, no. Dobrý na YouTube. I used to play Han. This is yeah. what we like. The teams would be like, you know how we have like we sit like separate now. But back in Han, you would sit like this. Like my computer screen is here and yours is here. Yeah. And when you killed someone, you would literally get up, stare him into his eyes, and just yell at him at the top of your lungs <laughs> at lab. That's how we used to play. Okay. And the crowd. Tak, tak to to vyzeralo prostě na CZLAN Challenge, če? na pekných českých lankách, to tak to stále vyzerá. A prostě někdy hráš proti někomu, kdo hra, fakt sedí oproti tebe, vedla těba kůsok, alebo tak. Že prostě tam zakričíš na něho, prostě poriadně. A má to úplně nejlepší, to bylo nejlepší jako feeling. Like, we're sitting like this, yeah? The crowd is here. They're literally one meter behind you. Like, just yelling shit behind you while you're playing. So I'm all for it. I don't mind, like... All this like tipping and voice lining in game, it's super mild. Like back in the day when we used to play a Dreamhack, No Tail would have, he had like a thing that made like a noise. It would go like, and whenever no. he would like, he would play like uh, Rasta mid, and he would grip you, and you're <laughs> sitting, <laughs> sitting there for eight seconds, you can't move, and he's just dancing on stage with his little thing going. <laughs> no tail on God. As he's like, his team didn't lose tournaments and they did this for years and he's just running the shit <laughs> in your face on stage at lab. So like, yeah, I'm all for it. Why not? You know, like, if people enjoy it and people understand there's no harm, I think it, you know, it's all good. And like, that's why I, I personally like have no issue with neither Malreen nor Amar. I have always found Amar just kind of funny. Because he's like 17 and he's just doing whatever he thinks is fun. I don't really, th I, I never thought there's any malicious intent to it. But I feel like some people, there is. And I feel like you, I mean, you know when someone's tipping you maliciously or like they think you're bad and they're tipping you or they're just doing it to be funny. And I, it's, I feel like there's no way you can know as a caster or a viewer from the outside. But I think as a player, you can kind of like feel it. Yeah, you can tell, you know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, sure. What I'm trying to get at is basically my end goal of this whole conversation was that it's so it's so baffling to me because I haven't really interacted much with Amar before this team, uh -huh. but he surprised me the most because he is not as people think he is. He's very actually mature and very uh, like responsible person. And then when when I see people like have this like facade that he is this child that hates everyone, is like all chatting and is like this clown running around. It's like that's why I kind of like some of the tweets I made is that I think people don't really understand this like all chat banter and all these like. All these things that are happening because at, at the end of the day like those people are just having fun and they're making you your like the whole show as a spectator is more entertaining as well so that's why when i see people like like exactly. harass him for doing this it's like i don't really get it or I, I think they don't understand that it's actually helping them enjoy watching dora more than it doesn't Ja, ja absolútne, ale súhlasím s Oliverom, presne, že je tam ako sú presne ľudia, čo teraz akoby napríklad po tom nedelnom finále s Xtremovcami, tak potom čo ako Falconi ho tam mali nejaký presne nejaký old chat, vole, drama a toto, tak to bolo oveľa sledovanejšie aj kvôli tomu. Teraz sa to riešilo, akoby tie ďalšie dni proste, akoby furt aj ten podcast, akoby tu je vyco a riešiť sa to tu, vole, milión hodín. A za, je, ako je jasné, že proste, uh, ako by som to povedal, že ľudia absolútne ako tomu nerozumejú a idú akoby, kde vítr tam plášť akoby v tom, že, že proste zrazu ako vidia tam niekoho, kdo ako tam dá nejaký smiley face a automaticky je to mladý cápek, automaticky proste netuší proste, vole, toxic, vole, týpeček a tak ďalej. Ale nikto tam nevidí proste tých 95% akože toho času, kde nie sú akoby v tom meči alebo tak, jo, že... 100%. I think uh, I, I, I really like that we're having this conversation because I, I think we've talked about it. The three of us have talked about it so many times where we want to see more of this stuff. Uh, and what you, like we like talking about the, the drama and, and that sort of thing that, that goes on. Uh, and it's the audience like you shouldn't condone people who go over the line and everybody's line is different. That's probably where the problem is. Uh, but people definitely, the, the, the community seems to have this uh, 
at least a vocal part of the community, seems to have this idea that uh, these things that go on is bad for the game, but it's actually the opposite. It's good for the game. So good. I, I will so tell you, I was more... Keby sa ako nediali všetky takéto veci, tak už je do tá ako dead pomalej, no a proste za tie roky. Invested. I, I'll tell you right now, Skeeter, I was cheering as a caster. I casted that finals. I was cheering against you guys in game two. I 100%. I didn't care if you guys won the series, but I needed Extreme to win a game. I needed them to be, you know, to be like, I needed XM to have some fucking vindication, you know, to be the one who instead, because he was just getting beaten down from our perspective, right? He's just getting, man's just getting slaughtered. You guys, you guys were seven and zero against Extreme after that game one. And he's getting tipped. He's getting smiley, right? And it builds up this story. You want this guy to be able to push back. And when he finally does, it it's it's such a it's such a great story that happens, right? Tak, no. And then, you know, a ta, tak to tam jakoby vždycky tvorí a prostě celkovo ty příběhy jakoby těch těch turnajů a těch uh, finále a tak dále a to je to je čisto len plus. To si nemůže podle mě nikdo jako já vím, že jsou tam jakoby nějaký jako ublížený jako chlapci a děvčata někde jako na internetoch a budou plně, že a to nemůžeš tam napisat, to je neslušné a nemůžeš mu tam dát ty vole smiley face. Ale co to je to ne Get the fuck out. Like whatever happens to the rest of the series, like he was able to stand up for himself, right? Even if they, they end up losing. Even better that he ends up winning. It's a better storyline as a result of that. But I'll tell you, like I was affected as a caster because of all that. And I think that's great. I had so much fun casting that finals. It, it's a remote finals. It's hard to get emotionally invested in remote finals as, as a caster sometimes. Uh... A na to som, jako je, je, je samozrejme jasné, že kep, jakoby, keď tam má, že samozrejme, že si oveľa viac ako emočne do toho zapojený, keď si priamo jakoby, na tom mieste a máš za sebou vole celý štadión ľudí, no to je jasné. Ale zrovna presne jakoby, z môjho pohľadu, je čisto iba o tom, jako, či sa vieš do toho nejak, alebo či ťa to zaujíma nejak ako vnútri natoľko, aby si sa do toho vedel plne jako, emočne ponoriť, aj keď jako, to komentujem z obýváku a jedno, či to je vole TI, alebo to je Riad, alebo niečo, že? Because you don't have the crowd cheering, you don't have all that energy, and I was invested, that was one of the most fun... Ale vy ste moja energia chat často. Jo, 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 chat. Aj keď nie ste ten najaktívnejší chat, uh, skôr by som povedal, že možno ten najneaktívnejší, ty vole, na to sa tak... Uh, tak aj tak by dodávate akoby pri tom káste presne tú energiu, pretože bez toho... Napríklad teraz, jak bolo to... Jak som musel komentovať s tým delayom chvíľku na Twitchi, akoby tú Elite League, tak proste na ten kick vtedy, na ten cast som išiel ako z jedného hlavného dôvodu a to, aby som sa vyhol tomu delayu. A nie ani kvôli tomu, že by som to ako chcel mať, ale akože nutne proste bez toho delayu ako na mene a tak, ale skôr z toho dôvodu, že na mňa psychicky to bolo absolútne nezvládnutelné pre mňa komentovať a komentovať a mať tam nejaký feedback až po desiatich minútach, alebo respektíve mať v tom čete úplne inú konverzáciu od toho, čo akoby vediem ja. A to, to, to je proste absolútne brutálne. Finals that I have ever casted as a remote caster and it was because of what, you know, Amar and Maureen were doing. I think it was great. And it was even better because Extreme was, they actually started biting back, I felt like. After, uh, in the, the upper bracket series. Tak sa mi to páči, Kenny. Občas tam teda presne, ako by musí pristáť nejaká kunda píča rododendron. Chápeš? No, je to tak. The, the semifinals, I didn't see quite as much, you know, but I felt like every single time in the grand finals, when somebody dropped a smiley, XM would drop it right back, you know? Or they would be willing to, they would be more offensively tipping, right? And and I thought because they were playing into it yeah. more, it was great. Yeah. I mean, that's another reason I'm talking about this is because I was kind of on every side of this because, you know, I started kind of interacting with Dora as a fan and I watched all those like TI2. That's where I started watching Dora and kind of getting mm -hmm. myself involved. And I've seen everyone getting so involved and invested in these games. And I saw like clips of you like throwing the water, casting <laughs> TI some game. I think it was TI6. Uh, you know, that was TI so, nine, I think. That was actually yeah, TI nine. All right, right yeah. TI nine. But like these, these are like so so fun games. And then I was also on the other side of, of this. When we were on Tundra, we were very like a, uh, we were very uh, game driven. We didn't really care much about like making game interesting. We just wanted to win. Mm -hmm. And so that's why like now I'm kind of on the different side of the spectrum, and it's like a different experience, and it's like so much, like it's so different. For me, and it's so nice to to just try something different and you know make it actually work. So why do you think and make you, it more you, fun? 
Why do you think you have hit that switch? Is it because you're older? Is it because you've watched other esports? Or is it because you finally won TI, so you kind of like achieved a goal, and now you're a little bit more relaxed? Well, what, what is it? To bolo tým, že to predchádzajúcom týbe bol reálne free free a keby tam ako niekto e, išiel pičovať alebo vole písať do očetu, tak kde povie, hej, sústreť sa na ty kundo, ty vole, vole, lázi tu i tam do piči, nepíš tam do toho očetu. Full try hard mod. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I do have to say, like, when, when you win TI, it's kind of like, you know, every, I would, I would assume every Dota pro player is trying to, like, win TI, at least that's, that's how it used to be. I don't know how it's going to be now with the whole new Rehard and TI interaction. Yeah. But, uh, That was always end goal of everyone, and then you know people after we won TI with Tundra, like mm, some of the people. Page no. People in in team had like a lot of doubts about what they want to do because they fulfilled the dream, and now they have like this whole void in in them. And I would be fool to say I didn't really have the same questions as well. But at the end of the day, I always come back to the same conclusion that what the fuck else would I do? Like I have no other qualifications, you know, and then when I take like a couple of days of break, I get bored and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm gonna queue Dota again, you know, because it's actually something I can, you know, get money from. Yes. Right, so uh, I, I want to back up to the, the finals and talk about, can you run us through the, a little bit of, of the story? So you guys started off, you guys had already beat Extreme. Did you guys expect to see Extreme in the finals in the first place? Or did you expect to see somebody else? Uh, I thought we're gonna either. I mean, I thought we're gonna meet Liquid. I was mm. like, okay, it's gonna be like a repeat of the uh, Red Boom Datra. We're gonna play against Liquid and see how it goes. You know, maybe they'll they'll like they'll be tougher. Mm -hmm. um, but then I watched you guys lost to Azure, right? Uh, yeah. Azure and then we lost, we lost to both of them. Yeah, Azure and Upper and Extreme and Lower. Okay, so. I thought that we're gonna either meet Liquid or Extreme. Um, so I wasn't too surprised meeting Extreme again. And I have to say, like, they actually improved so much from the time we played them in upper bracket compared to the finals. And to kind of remind you, in the upper bracket, the second game, we should have lost. Like they kind of, you know, they had they had like the upper hand throughout the most of the game, and then. They made some mistakes and then they gave us opportunity to come back. We had like two percent chance from Dora Plus to win. That was mm -hmm. like crazy, and we pulled we pulled it. So yeah, I mean, I think they they improved throughout the tournaments the most, and I think the that's what makes the best team in each tournament. How much you can improve throughout the tournament. Uh, post to no. And so you guys uh, went into that first game. Uh, I felt like you guys won that first game pretty handedly. Uh, I was actually a little bit concerned. I was like, oh. Oh, is it going to be a, a 3-0? Did you, did you guys feel that after uh, the first game? I don't really... Like, because I can tell you, we go back in time in TI-10. That was like the first time I was playing TI-10 qualifiers. We were in finals against OG. And in, in, it went into game five. And I remember night before, we were like that qualifier. I don't think we dropped a single game. We already won against OG in upper bracket in the qualifiers, like 2-0. And that was like my first shot of going to TI. Like, actually close being in grand finals of eu which is supposed to be like the hardest region to qualify from and i was already thinking about like oh my god i'm gonna go to ti i'm gonna i'm gonna you know go there it's, it's like my dream and then i remember these thoughts like actually fucked with me a lot on the on the time we played them we ended up losing to them two three which which was pretty close but so ever since then i kind of took this lesson with me that i should i'll never ever think about the future of like what if like what if i win it's gonna be easy it's gonna be hard like to je, to je za mňa úplne extrémne podstatná akoby vec. Vždycky, keď začneš rozmýšľať akoby nad tým, že a ah, už vole, jedna hra, už vole, sme tam jednou nohou, už ty vole čiel, vole, proste jedno toto, už sme ich zničili predtým, tak proste nejak ako sa sám seba ako, tak nejak ako proste brzdíš, no. I just look at the game as it is, like from game from game and I have no expectations, you know, if we lose, we lose, if we win, we win, I don't really care. So there, there were no real thoughts about like, oh, it's going to be easy or it's going to be hard. Can I ask you what went wrong in that finals? Do you think it, it was just extreme, like stepped up a lot and we're playing great game? Or do you feel like you guys faltered a bit? No, we, de we definitely faltered. I mean, I mean, as I said, they improved a lot, but I think we had like, a, we didn't really stuck to the fundamentals we follow and we kind of betrayed ourselves a lot. Mm. Um, 
Yeah. In Venture Bass Spec, though, we said I don't want to really get into it too much because, you know, I'm here with two direct competitors, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think, I mean, I don't want to take take away, take away anything from Extreme because, as I said, I think they, they played extremely well. Haha. <laughs> Uh, extreme, <laughs> extremely well. Uh, but yeah, at, 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 at the same time, we didn't really perform up to our standard as well. Yeah, I think that I think that's that's fair enough. Uh, I, I definitely was not expecting a three-one. Uh, Aiden Quinn, what did you guys think about the the finals? Um, I'm surprised Falcons won a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think the general vibe around our bootcamp was that Falcons were going to win, yeah. like pretty easily three-zero. I think we thought. Um, Interesting. Yeah, I think our team was very much leaning that direction. I can't remember exactly. We were watching the game, so I think the general vibe was like, "All right, talk is probably going to win." Win. I, I mean, I think Falcons was favored, but I felt like they were way more mortal this tournament than they were other tournaments. I think the the last one it wasn't even close. Like the last one, they just mean every series. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like they knocked. Like it was it was just like whatever. Uh, every game was some giga stomp. No one looked close. Whereas this one, it was like uh, it was way closer. And like the scrims we played against them, we were actually like doing okay. And we in the past we were getting thrashed by them in scrims. And the scrims we played against them like before this tournament, we were like holding our own. And so I kind of felt like whoever played them in finals at least had a chance this time. Um, like God. Dal som budík peč nikde. No, už to bude jako by o jedné alebo o druhé, no. Odds do bleed, you know. Yeah. Um, and they lost game one, it's like, okay, maybe it'll be 3-0. And then, and then game two is back, and it's like, okay, now it's a series. Now I don't know what the heck's gonna happen. After game two, it's like, it's a, it's a coin toss. Yeah. So the yeah, problem here is, Quinn, Quinn didn't get to see gaming gladiators lose in group stages last year. And get convinced that gods can bleed, and then have to play them in the finals, <laughs> and realize they don't. <laughs> no, but wait, the last tournament was that Boom Dacha, right? That's funny. That was Dream League, Dream League, Dream League, Which Dream League. <laughs> you, don't have, you, don't, you don't have any memories of that, do you? Uh, I don't know. Um, like with the Dream League, nejde úplně do romady, no. Tam vypadli nekazkora. I don't remember playing Dream League. Uh, yeah, the, he, uh, Aiden had a momentary uh, lapse of like three days. Uh, uh, that was the Dream League, but like, uh, right, can I ask you something about that? I was AFK, yeah, sure. <laughs> How come it's always you guys, you know, in Dream League? Dude, like, I have like no is, idea. You know? Okay, 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 okay. I don't know if this is meant for broadcast, but the one after Riyadh last year, I don't think we knew even was going to happen. So we were like Omega being chilling. That one was like an oops. Um, the first Dream League, we... Oh wait, no, no, okay, no, that, the last Dream League before this this one that just happened, we couldn't actually practice, because there were too many real-life stuff that popped up that we actually couldn't play uh, in time. And we had been being chilling right before it. Um, the one before that, I don't remember. Uh, I think I think we also decided, like, this is the only time of the year that we can take a break. Um, so we might have like, kind of like half-assed that one, on purpose. And the one before that, we got three-two in the grand final, right? That was like when the big patch dropped. Yeah, uh, that was the first one. And this last one, I actually was kind of surprised that we sucked as much as we did. So I don't, I don't really know. I did not think we were gonna do this poorly. I thought like, you know, maybe we're not in top shape, but you know, we just got second, um, and it'll be fine. But. I I don't know why it's Dream League, but I think maybe something about like Dream League tends to be the tournament that we play from home the most, and that just ends up being like the worst for us. I think as a team. You guys had liquid, like, jako by nie nie super dost tak dobrý jako online team, no? Oproti nějakým červeným bedboomům, jo, povězme abo tak. A lot of momentum. You guys killed it in the qualifiers. Uh, you want to talk about like what went wrong for you guys this tournament? This tournament, um, I don't know, but I think what went right in the qualifiers was that we had like, we were kind of far ahead of the meta. I think mm. we had a lot of like really good ideas, and it just made like Dota really easy. Like we were just playing disruptor every game, and nobody had any idea that this hero was good, and we were just getting like very easy games, um, abusing, you know, meta. I know Skeeter knows what that's like, but it's kind of a. Um, I space. What did you say? 
I said we were abusing, you know, Nera just being kind of ahead of the curve a little bit, you know, having oh, some, I see. I doing see. some math on the queue and being like 900 damage. Hmm. Seems pretty good. <laughs> 1600 cast range. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, he, he, he's a very nice fella for sure when it comes to helping people improve. Yeah. Um, what went wrong this event? I don't know. I think we just kind of had like a bad day. A little bit. We were. Zopar is like the There's an ongoing no, theory that Nisha is match fixing. I don't know. <laughs> might be... Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The fuck? The Nisha Pangolier, like rolling into Bloodseekers and you know just dying. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm a lot of rolling. I'm into I'm, I'm investigating. I'm investigating. <laughs> Nisha, right now. Like, oh, a little, little bit too soon, like, but too soon. Check he, in PC. He's like, he's like he's like rolling in, and then like he's like after he's like guys, I'll take you out to dinner. Don't worry about it. Is that like, hmm. Taisha? Is that Taisha? That's what's happening. <laughs> no, he, he, he pays the bill. He pays the dinner bill entirely. Yeah, with cash. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Roll cash. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're like, he's like, yeah, I just need to get my Nisha <laughs> crypto from this weird website. We're like, Nisha, what's going on, man? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, I think extreme. Mm. They played well, and we kind of like just kind of sloppy games. I think the same thing. When we played Azure, it was like a very bad day for us. I think we were mm. not, uh, we didn't come in like fired up enough. And then Extreme, I think they kind of, you know, they beat us. I think we could have played a lot better that series. But I think every every time you lose, you always feel like you could have played better. I don't know if that's sure. like universally true. I don't think I don't think All I've right. ever lost and been like, okay, these guys are just holy fuck. They're just so good. Except maybe, 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 Gladiators in Berlin. That was like the only time I think I felt that way. Every I have a I question I need to ask, actually. Uh, can you guys tell me, when you lose tournaments, how does it feel? Shit. Dude, what the fuck? This guy wins two events and he thinks he's like God no, of the no, world? No, 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 I have a specific thing that I go through every single time, and I'm wanting to know how it compares to other people. Now, uh, you want to go first, Aiden? No, that's okay. I have the most experience, so I'll go last. <laughs> All right. Um, it varies for me. Like, I think the, the way we lose changes how angry I will be and how long it affects me for. Um, sometimes I'm really, really mad, and it takes a long time to go away. Sometimes it doesn't take that long like a few days i think the general thing for me is though i'm like i'm very mad after like the we need to fix problems like there's stuff wrong i'm looking trying to fix stuff and i get like it like comes over me in waves like once a day i'll be like oh, we lost and i'll like you can clench my fist and and it'll that'll happen like less and less over x amount of days depending how bad the loss was all right skeeter go i mean for me i always have insane like headaches like it's it's insane like i sleep so bad t t that night it's like I, I i've never experienced anything like this It's like some insane shit like i cannot like i fall asleep wake up to in, in two hours i cannot fall asleep i feel like shit i feel like i'm in some fucking terror my head hurts like crazy i don't know why i'm tell i'm telling myself nothing really happened like i'm trying to be grateful and everything but my brain is like betraying me like, it makes me feel so bad. I don't understand why it acts like this. And I'm, like, insanely mm. confused. And it happens every single time. And it's pissing me off. So that's why I wanted to, like, know, like, is this something that's just me or is it like, a normal thing, you know? I don't really get, like, the physical thing. I think, for me, it's a lot mental. Like, uh, I think some events, I feel really down because I feel like I played poorly. And, like, I let the other four guys down. Because I think, usually, for me, that's, like, the, um, the loss is, like, it just highlights, like, for me, where I feel like I'm lacking. You, is like I guess the main thing, and I usually feel a lot of guilt towards like, oh, I could have you know done this better for my teammates or for that better for my teammates, and then depending on like Quinn said, like the way you lose for me, it's a mix of either like feeling really sad and feeling like you wasted an opportunity to accomplish something, or like anger and disappointment that you didn't like try harder or you know push for certain things in practice and stuff like this. Like come, I feel, feel like for me a lot of the time like. When we have lost in the past, I felt like I can link it back to like something missing in practice that wasn't, it wasn't that we didn't know it, but we just didn't address it kind of. So I feel like that's like um, usually like where the frustration stems for me. Um, so yeah, 
mixed bag of frustration and anger and sadness. But nothing really. I've never had like a physical thing. I think I don't think I've had a physical thing either. Yeah. Is headache physical? Like I feel it's kind of mental as well, no? No, but like you're saying your head physically hurts, no? And like that you can't sleep. I would say that's kind of physical, no? I mean, I think it's yeah. It's scary. Okay, I would well, say it's coming from mental stuff, but it's having physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's right. a physical reaction. Eh, go Oliver, we should do pretty much a eye, go be prostě na tu jako fyzickou schránku, ale v tom dole. To like, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it would not surprise me at all. Prostě Oliver bude říct, Oliver prohrá, musí bojovat proti svému vlastnému mozgu, víš to? Ten mozog mu prostě pově, ty kokoté, ty vole, jak si to nemohl vyhrát, ty píčo, prostě teda si myslíš, že budeš spát po prvnávom turnaji? No já ti dám, ty kurno, tu máš. A Oliver úplně, ale veď, ale veď mozgu, ale já, já jsem vďačný, ty vole, za to nějaké jiné město, jako nevyhrali jsme to, ale... Je to OK, jdeme ďalej, ne, trénink jako ďalej, jdeme další tur. Ne, to je ten mozog, ty vole, jede prostě tvrdě. If there are other players who, who A tak to je jednoduché, tak stačí, když Oliver bude iba vyhrávat teraz. Problem solved. Out of curiosity, the one thing, you didn't mention your mood. Uh, are you more angry or more sad uh, after a loss I, or does it vary? I, I don't really get angry, but I, I'm usually a very talkative person, but when we lose, I kind of stop talking for for like a day i'm kind of just lock myself into it but and then you know usually i like to smile a lot and then just a lot like you know have a friendly banter with anyone but then you know people like with me you can tell quickly that something is wrong because i'm not usually my like energetic myself or something i'm just kind of just no i don't really talk much and that's kind of that goes on for like a day and then i but i know for a fact that every time i tell myself you know it's fine it's going to be like this for a day or two and then i'm going to be back just i always tell myself like time heals and that's kind of it i actually have the exact same thing. Like, I, I think I'm usually pretty goofy. And then when I lose, I'm pretty quiet. And then, like, people can immediately tell. Like, immediately tell, like, what my... Jo, to tam napríklad na Lukášovi, ale na Mexisovi to ide úplne extrémne poznať. Ale <laughs> úplne extrémne, ty vole, proste na Lukášovi. A úplne brutál. Mood is, like, based on that, too. All right, so, uh... You guys have anything got else you got, want to got real for a second here. Yeah, I got, I got sad. <laughs> I just think it's funny how how different it is from tournament to tournament. Like after a TI, I wasn't angry at all. I had no anger. I was only sad. I was crushed, but I wasn't angry in the least. But then I've had tournaments that like I'm not sad at all. I'm only angry. Or like the length of it varies widely. Like I remember the Romania tournament, the Romania TI. I felt really bad, but like we were terrible. We had no chance to win TI. But like it took that one took like over a week before I felt normal, I think. Like I was like frustrated for so long, but like why am I so mad? Like we've been trash. You know, like I it's the the variety in it is so so strange. I mean, when we missed the TI call, I mean we were awful that year. And we had like we had Sumail stand in and then Boxy came back last minute and like the conditions were terrible. Our year was like the worst. But I remember missing that qualifier was like the worst point of my life. Like missing TI 10. I moved back in with my parents for like two weeks and I was so depressed. I would wake up at like 7 p.m. just nonstop play pubs. I wouldn't eat unless my mom like literally brought me food. And th I'm like 25 or 26 at this point. Like it was really <laughs> bad. I'd been living alone for like three years or something before. I was omega depressed. And then like I think I lost like between 10 to 15 kilos of weight. And Holy it, crap! Yeah, I like, dude. I have never had more depression in my entire life than like that. The year that I cast the TI finals as well. I mean, so you should be older than Caldo. I was like, everything was like, in the span of like not making TI in the summer until TI finals was like. Pupan kuro, budu starší určitě. The worst part of my life, and I remember I was so sad. Ale sebe taky to jeden z těch jako starších nazvíme to no. And like it just didn't pass. And I remember when we came back to boot camp, we had just signed like Matu and Zai, and it was going to be like the whole like, holy shit, we're like going to own now. We got the best players in secret, you know, like let's fucking do this kind of thing. Um, well, you didn't have Nisha yet. I didn't. OK, <laughs> I meant like the best players, two of the best players in the world. We stole them yeah, from yeah, secret, yeah. not secrets two best players. Um, and I remember the moment I came to boot camp, I just felt like absolute shit. Like it just brought all the depression back, like just seeing the place again made it so sad. I think that was like the lowest Crazy. point I ever got in terms of like uh, how I felt. And the funny thing was like that was probably also like when we were the worst and we should have like 
you know, we didn't deserve to go to that TI. Like, Tundra, OG, all these teams were, like, so much better. But I remember it really, really, really hit. That one was really tough. Did you ever have any thoughts about retirement or, oh, yeah. like, who am I going to be? Like, do I need to go to a different team? Or you, you had those thoughts? It was more like, because for me, I think a lot of the times it's tied to, like, should I be on this team with, like, Matu, Zai, Mikit, Boxy? Like, do I really belong with these guys? Like, because I remember, I, for myself, I had so much self-doubt after we didn't make TR that year. Mm. Um, and it was, like, probably one of the first times in my life that I felt that way that strongly. Because I think everyone has a little bit of it, but to that degree that I could feel it at that point was, like... Because I was, like, casting also did really well for me. Like, people really liked me on Reddit, and I was like, oh, maybe, you know, it's time to switch. I'm getting old. I'm a fucking boomer. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, it was definitely, like, I, I mean, I went through all of it. I went through, like, the whole, like, maybe it's time to just leave Dota all together, you know, go do something else. It was it was a pretty rough period, but... Here, Here we are. are. Každý, kdo si dáme doma takuto krizu, a i tak skončí na Dota, protože vyjde vyřešit akurat zopar public mid, vole, a všetko je krásné. Pane Majo, nevím, či budeme koby hrát ještě teraz, protože nás čeká pravděpodobně za... Půl hodinu možno, možno za hodinu a půl page, by som povedal, maybe. Takže asi tak. Well, uh, it's, uh, it's a good decision that you made that. Uh, curiosity, has anybody else thought about retirement or thought about what your future looks like? You know, five years, do you think you're still playing Dota? Uh, professionally. Hmm. So, Oliver, you know, Skitter, somebody? <laughs> I, I, I kind of already asked, a lot of voices. I, I think I already answered this question. I don't think I'm qualified to do anything. Maybe I would tip my toes into streaming, but besides that, I, I feel like I would be a fucking failure. You know, like I have no real life skills, nothing like that. So hell no. Nah. Yeah, because uh, you're, how old are you? I'm 25. Yeah, you're 25, and you've de dedicated a large part of your life to professional gaming. Of course, you don't have any skills outside of that, but well, you develop the skills in professional gaming. That means you have the prerequisite to develop skills elsewhere. But I say also, I think that if you have the interest well, for it. The problem is you get spoiled. Mm. Yeah, but you see, you see what I mean? Like you, yeah. you, you've done this, you dedicate so much time, as you said, and then you kind of got used to something. No, of course, if you're going to win millions, you're going to live life just to do tak potom už jako nebude mít motivaci už vole za pokladnu do Lidlu, jako no, to prostě je to tak, no. Some, some like, you know, money situation or some lifestyle and then if you were to do something like, something from the scratch again, like, I'm not sure if I could actually do it. Mm. Because I understand how much dedication it takes to, to do it and then I would have to do it all over again. So that's why, like, I would either play until I'm like shit or I would try to stream. I'm not exactly sure what else I could do. O, oh, jako kludně by mohl být Oliver jako tam na nějakých a uh, potom na nějakých tam uh, analýz desko a tak možno, ale zase jako by no, záleží. I, uh, I consider quitting all the time. Uh, so many years after TI I've considered quitting, so many tournaments. Um, I just, Dota is, I, I don't, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just a wimp, but like Dota for me is like incredibly emotional and like, I hate losing. Like losing feels so bad. It takes forever for me to get over it. Um, and winning just doesn't feel as good. It just wears off way faster, and it's it's not. It just doesn't feel as good as losing feels bad. So I always like sort of wrestle with this thing of like, are the like aside from like the money, like is this actually worth it? Like I'm more sad, way more than I am happy. So am I? Is this a good thing to be doing with my time here? Um, I consider that all the time, um, but if I if I quit, I'd probably I'd probably just stream or do talent stuff. And do do you think that <laughs> you talk about the the sadness and stuff like that? But you know the streaming world. Like I we recently had a conversation with the corp. Uh, I remember talking to him at Dream League. You know, like the that is its own little like hell of sorts as well, right? Where he talks about like the brain rot and that sort of thing. You're still stuck in Dota in a way. Oh, I mean, I'd never stream Dota. I would slowly wean <laughs> okay. myself off of it and like and try to become a variety streamer. I think streaming Dota okay. is absolute hell. I don't know how those two do it. I would I would be in soup in a jar if I was streaming Dota. Plus Yo, streaming Dota is not to je to je prostě challenge samo o sebe. Plus one. A to poznaju ľudia až keď budu streamovat Dota. 
Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, we're, we're closing up on an hour here, uh, and there is still one more topic that I wanted to talk about. Uh, and I this got the is big. not a fun Ooh. topic, so you know it's probably best we're on a more serious tone right now. Anyway, um, people are kind of expecting us to talk about Tyga uh, and everything that's come out there Ooh. about you know, betting and and, uh, and uh, three two two. Here matches, we go, you know, baby. Sort of thing. So, čte ty vole připravte se na dramičku ty vole. Jdeme trošku rozmazat Tygyča. You guys can say as little or as much as you want about that. Uh, but for the, if, for anybody who doesn't know, listeners, uh, so Taiga was recently it was outed through uh, one of the Russian uh, Dota YouTubers. Uh, he does like a lot of, he does a lot of like really quality content and some of it is journalistic. Uh, and he basically has all of this proof about Taiga and the match fixing he did, uh, whether through a lot of times through First Blood, but sometimes a full on matches. Um, the match fixing that he was doing uh, during his time on OG um, and probably sometimes after that, there were further accusations about him doing it uh, through other organizers uh, more recently. And uh, my understanding is Taiga has kind of said, yeah, the, the video is not 100% correct. But frankly, if it's 50% correct, you are you've still done something completely terrible and i feel like the the uh ja úplne osobne ako by som mal tak ich ako by extrémne rád ako hráča myslím si že to je extrémna škoda že proste sa a, 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 akože je to škoda ale je to furt jeho chyba je to furt jeho chyba že spadlo do toho gamblu a, a proste dostal sa až do tejto shit situácie absolútne by som to neospravedlňoval ako by ja osobne a v tomto ako reálne by som Tagičovi kľudne dal proste permaban vole na všetky vole do Taturna je nazdar. Jakože jo, je to síce ako nejaký zmarený talent alebo niečo podobné, ale do píči, ako tu nemôžeme dávať takéto podľa mňa uh, nejaké proste výnimky alebo niečo také, pretože to je to isté ako keď do píči, ja neviem, niekto niekoho prejde kurva, autom proste a bude mať dve promile a povie, že ej chlapci, ale ja som bol opilý, ty vole, ja som, ja som to ako nechcel úplne ako by to urobiť. Who cares do píči, ty, ty si ten koko, ktorý sa ty vole namrdal, ak píči a on si sadol za ten volant, jo? Takže toto je presne ako by volal, on sa ako by dostal do toho gamblu a do toho problému a do toho celého kolobehu a potom už sa z toho vyhrábať je samozrejme ako problém, ale za mňa proste je to extrémne simple, ja, ja proste ako reálne byť Valve alebo niekto alebo tak, tak tam proste pošlem bana hotovo. Proste ako sorry, ale to, ne, to nedáva akoby takéto dobré svet, akože, dobre, samozrejme, že sa to musí ešte ako, dajme tomu ako viac prešetriť, povedzme, a skontrolovať akoby tie zdroje a tak, a, a všetko akoby toto trošku ako legálnou cestou, akoby možno to tam ako niekde skontrolovať určite, ale to, že zatiaľ akoby, myslím, že zatiaľ ako neprišlo žiadne ofiko vyjadrenie, nič od Valvu, akoby žiadne, akoby nič sa tam ako nestalo, viac menej zatiaľ, akurát ho teda ako vyhodili z toho týmu a už tam je nieko, niekto iný a už nemá ako s kým. Neviem, kto by s Taigičom hlavne teraz ako chcel hráť, to je jo, ďalšie. Aj, aj keď všetci vedia, že akoby jo, že to píči, tak sa dostal voľať do hoven, ale do sa do toho nedostane znova a tak. Jo, za mňa proste to je no go. Ako možno som tom tvrdý, ale to by to malo byť. The are pretty true, there's a lot of backing to it. Uh, there's a lot of evidence behind it. Uh, so you guys have any thoughts about that? Uh, I guess I can just go first. I really, I tried watching the video, but okay. it's super tough because, uh, you know, Tommy was on our team and Tommy is a person that was quite close to us and it's really hard to watch. So I kind of just will refrain from getting like really saying. Oh, oh no. Ono proste to je to najhoršie, že akoby tí radšiny, ktorí čo ho ako poznali a tak, tak 100% A ja osobne, ako samozrejme dvoje Tygiča nepoznám do píči ako osobne, že jo. Ale za tie roky akoby toho profesionálneho hrania som ho mal extrémne rád ako človeka proste a tak podobne. A ako hráča, čisto a ako osobu. Ale ako, no, neprajem mu ako nič zlé v živote, ale bohužiaľ akoby takýto kicks na dote je ako... Anything. I'm just really disappointed. And Platí sa za chyby and, proste. You know, I wish it wasn't true, but it seems like, you know, there probably is truth to it somewhere. Okay. Quinn? I have two sides to it. One is 
match fixing is is I mean it's the cardinal sin of competition. I think once you've once you've done it, it's over. Like there's no one no yes. one can ever trust you again, to whether it be teammates or fans or whatever. Like it's over. It's a terrible, terrible thing to do. It is the worst thing you can do in competition. And I think it being I mean, it it just sucks that he did it because it's really bad. Um and I think not like it is not it's sort of the other side of this, but doesn't take away from that is the people who are continually dumping on him and trashing him and like going way over the top, I think are really cringe. Like the guy was Yes, oh no, oh no, presne, ako do do osoby ako by taigi čas sa nejak ako navážať za to alebo tak je podľa mňa ako píčovina. Jo, je proste píčovina. Uh, pretože ako tam proste musíš nejak ako keď si ako trošku empatický ako človek, tak proste kurva sa musíš ako trochu vcítiť do toho, že jo, že fakt ako spadol do hoven, spadol do toho gamblu, prehral všetky many, potom sa z toho išiel ako vyhrábať alebo tak. A vidíš ako by v tom, že to nebol ten, že by ako nerobil to na schvál len tak z prdele, že sa nudil, že hej, idem si zarobiť nejaký bonus proste, tak vole tu vole stavím na first blood alebo niečo, jo, alebo ne, urobíme vole túto s ruským 3-2-2 kamarádom niečo. E, ale to proste vôbec tam... Je jasné, že spadol do hoven a potom už sa odtiaľ ako blbo vyhrabať, ale... Je to, čo je. Je to v bad state a robí niečo, čo je veľmi bad a terrible, ale ja si myslím, že to znamená, že je to ako Satan incarnate, nebo by to byť ako drag do hoveda, ako ad infinitum. Mm. Um, yes. Ja to znamená, že to vidíte v Twitch chat, v Reddit, a čo, je to ako konstant. Je pravda, že teraz posledný týždeň od kedy čo vyšlo do videa, alebo koľko to už je, tak na každom maine, na akoby main caste, alebo keď si, ja neviem, u Gorka, keď si na tých veľkých Dota kanáloch na Twitchi, tak každý jeden nejaký akoby random feed, každý nejaký first blood, niečo podobné, tak všetci akoby z toho robia akoby Taiga memes. Čo je ako podľa mňa ešte celkou okej, okay. to horšie je, keď ho niekto proste fakt ako ide nejak ako terorizovať správami mne, alebo niečo podobné. Že... And I think it's one thing to like not condone the action, say this is bad. Pretože ďalšia vec je, že keď sa ako empaticky akoby trošku preneseme akoby do Taigiča, aj keď urobil píčovinu, aj keď sa to podľa mňa akoby ne, nedá omluviť a tak ďalej, aj keď je to stále jeho chyba v základe, a, tak proste... Zase, ty vole, nemôže mať vole Walk of Shame, ty vole, Game of Thrones proste, uh, vole, nahý tam proste, niekde, niekde v meste, alebo niečo také, jo? že to, ako z, zas, ja si myslím, že akoby na dote uh, by nemal už taký, alebo teda on, ne, no, si myslím, že ako pokračovať už ani nebude moc nejak, alebo tak, ale aj keby chcel, aj keby nechcel, ale... To ako neznamená, že pre neho ako teraz skončí nejako ten život. On musí byť ako celku v hovnech z toho celého, samozrejme. Ale to najhoršie na tom je... Najhoršie na tom celom, podľa mňa, čo sa tu akoby ani nespomenulo, nie je ani akoby tá, podľa mňa tá situácia, že... Uh, že proste... Tam... Kurva, no, neviem, ako to mám akoby úplne, úplne ako povedať. Za mňa bolo najhoršie to, že Tajgič dával minulý rok, on dával tú omluvu, preca. On dával takú tú veľkú ako omluvu, taký ten tweet longer, alebo čo to bolo, kde proste dával Tajgič to, že ako spadol do toho gamblu a tak ďalej, a že tam prehral akoby všetky tie peniaze, čo ako vyral z doty a bla bla. Ale v tom celom jeho priznaní, jo, v tom celom jeho priznaní je vidieť taký ten akože vypočítavosť v tom, že sa k tomu najdôležitejšiemu sa nepriznal. Jo, alebo k tomu, že to bola len taká ako, že ej chlapci, ako spadol som do gamblu a tak to ako ďalej, ale nič o nejakom matchfixu, nič tam ako nespomenul. Za mňa keby ako s tým vyšiel ako clear a tak, tak by to ako ten koniec možno ako ne, ne, nezhoršilo a tak, ale uh, no, ako to, to mi prišlo na tomto najviac ako brúcno. 3-2-2 dramu od Tagiča akurát. Terrible, like... He's, I mean, obviously, you should never play again. Um, this type of deal, but that doesn't also mean you should like relentlessly dunk on the guy. Like, I don't know, he made some terrible mistakes. Like, let that be what it is, and like, let the guy be, because people are like, I think people are going way too far. Mm. Sure, I mean, he, like, obviously, all this is true. He should be banned. 
Uh, and, you know, like in other societies or other circumstances, I'm thinking like South Korea specifically, right? There have been issues where there have been legal problems with match fixing and like, you know, that, that sort of thing. But like, basically you should go through those channels, just ban them and then just kind of be done with it. Yeah. Like just like, oh. you don't, you don't have to like. Já taky s tobou souhlasím, ale skip. On prostě normálně tam ten statement zabanovat za match fixing. Pro mě za mě na 10 rokov, ale to je úplně jedno, prostě, protože to z jaký ban mu dá, tak mu to ukončí tu kariéru úplně. A aspoň jako by on sám se jako může nějak tak jako dostat do něčeho jiného, teoreticky, jo. No, být něčeho jiné, no. Nemyslím si, že by na to mal dostávat zase tak jako super bashing, ale. I don't know. Around. People are attacking the guy like personally way more than like he just match fixed. Like, I don't know. He did some bad crap. Like, ban him. That let that be the end and and stop, stop haranguing the guy over mm -hmm. crap that isn't related to this. Good. I think that's fair enough. Skeeter, do you have anything you have you have to say? Uh, about I mean, him? I have one question. Did he make any statement after the video came out? He has made. Uh, he said some things in like Twitch chat of all places. Um, nemá žiadne ofiko, nevydal ofiko žiadnu. To, to je tá presne vec, že je jasné, že tam z toho je minimálne, aj keby sme mali povedať 50% pravda, alebo iba niečo z toho. Je jasné na 100 do píči percent, že proste niečo, že, že, že tam nejaká pravda v tom proste je, že keby nebola, tak instantne by Daigič, ty vole, proste určite ako všade sa ozýval, že hej, vole, to je bullshit, vole, hej, to je toto a takto. Jo? Ale proste tam je toľko dôkazov a vecí, že on podľa mňa ako teraz ani... On nevie ani, čo má podľa mňa úplne urobiť. On sa snaží byť podľa mňa úplne ticho a nenápadne, aby to nejak ako utichlo, ale... No. And I think at least one time he has said uh, in one of those spots that the video wasn't 100% true or, you know, there was... There was... He, he, he disagrees with some of the video. Uh... But he has not come out to say that, like, this is all completely wrong. I'm 100% innocent. This is all made up, uh, to my knowledge. I see. I mean, I always kind of had the same opinion on, on these things. I I am I tend to be pretty strict. I think if you involve yourself in match mixing or any sort of any sort of thing, or even like betting in general, like you shouldn't be betting on, on the discipline you are playing in. I feel yeah. like you should just be permanent, permanently banned. I feel like there's been like a couple of instances in Dota where people got off easily, but I feel like I would have just banned them permanently. Uh, jako jediný podľa mňa, ktorý tak ako oficiálne akože prešiel a stále hrá a všetko je solo, že jo, z 3 2, 2 no. Takže ten problém vtedy bol, že to bola ako jedna z tých prvých kaos, ktorá sa ako nejak ako prevalila, dajme tomu. A nie, že prevalila. On to sám predsa vtedy, to bolo ako trošku iné so Solom, pretože ona sa to ako samozrejme proste, tá, tá 3-2-2 uh, EO vznikla tak, že on, on si proste Solo stavil vtedy nejakých tých, neviem či 100 dolárov a vyhral 322, alebo jak to bolo presne, ne? Jo, ale sta nestavil to on, ale proste stavila to jeho priateľka vtedy proste, alebo niečo také. On to ani nestavil vtedy Solo sám, ale stavila to vtedy ako by tá jeho priateľka a... A potom sa to k nemu akože vypátralo, že proste to jeho priateľka stavila na ten jeho zápas, čo aj tak akoby nemôže proste, že proste je to také akože nerozumieš, jo? že by to ako mohol robiť ako ona, je to proste blízko k tomu match fixingu a tak ďalej. Jo? Ale to bola taká tá prvá proste vec, ešte ako veľmi malá hlavne, jo? to bola taká veľmi len malinká suma ako píčovin, kde, kdežto teraz akoby tam ide o kurva money, jako by no. A i ta vole čínská jako drama a všechno okay. možné, že? So, but I guess it's kind of not that easy to, to find like a concrete evidence on these things if they're doing it for someone else. But uh, I, I know the guy, I, we talked on a bunch of lines before and I, I was kind of disappointed when I found out as well. And on top of that, like, he, like, 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 he, I remember, he would like got himself into such a good shape like he would go to gym and he would look so good and then i would met him at some of the lines and i would know something is wrong because he kind of let himself go and then after seeing all these like public statements before that he got like 
addicted to gambling. It's just a very sad situation. And I don't wish it to anyone. And that's that's sort of why like gambling is a very dangerous thing and you should try to stay away from it as, as much as possible because it's just like selling your dream that, you know, like you should never look for shortcuts in life. And yeah. th that's just how it goes. Like, just don't Zula do Zim. it. Zula Zim. Okay. I think that's yeah. fair enough. I think that's really all we need to say on this subject. I can just... Yeah. Also No to je inak ďalšia to vec, Mephisto si, ak si tam písal, že, že Taiki Jacoby teraz bude streamerom, streamovať, že ho aj na Twitch, aj na Kiku. Uh, ale od tej doby, čo prišiel ten statement, tak si myslím, že to nezapol. A uh, celkovo si predstav, predstav si to, že po takejto veci ty zapneš stream. Jako vieš si predstaviť, ako bude vyzerať ten jeho Twitch celú dobu? Ej... Je, 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 jako prostě to, to není podle mě to správné řešení, ty vole, no, also, jako. But I think match fixing is the worst thing, and I fully agree with Ben mm. on that. Um, and I do think, like, it's horrible, because it ruins, like, all of, it just breaks everything. It fucks the entire yeah. world for everyone. And it's the worst, I think, I agree, it's the worst thing you can do as a competitor. Yeah, it, it draws, um, uh, no, sorry, keep going. No, yeah, go ahead, but. Uh, I think I mean it, it does the the harm it does to your teammates, the harm it does to the former organization viewers, organization, the whole thing. The uh, harm it does to the ecosystem as a whole, right? It's just like they like people look at that sort of thing and think to themselves, who else is doing it, right? Who yeah, presne involved, tak. You know, presne tak, jakoby teraz presne keď jakoby vidíte vždycky takáto drama, tak jakoby Prostě match fixing je fakt jako total shit, no, protože tam, tam prostě potom už si jako, ke, keby se to dělalo jako nějak viac, jo, tak si prostě pově, že no, to píči, prostě, a teraz jako, je to vůbec real competition, ne, jo, jako máme tu ty, ale nebo já, jo. And once you start seeing those ghosts, right, real or not real, you're gonna keep looking for them, and that will affect your whole perception, and that, that really hurts, you know, Uh, I've, I've, I've watched, uh, you know, certain sports scandals that happen. Um, you know, there's some going on in the NBA. There's, uh, you know, stuff going on in baseball and stuff like that. I saw it from NBA. I saw something. I don't know if it was a result or if it was a player or something. But I saw something like that. I saw something like that. I saw something like that. It really is a black eye to those sports when it comes out. Um, so you have to be, we have to be very vigilant about stomping that sort of thing out. Uh, cause last thing you want is uh, a Starcraft situation where it was running rampant there. So best thing to do, cut it out as much as possible. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we need to really be able to say on that, uh, subject. I know it's kind of, uh, uh, a, a, Skitter know, needs to humble one, the fuck but, up. Uh, I think a lot of people expected us to be able to have an opinion on it. So thank you guys so for, we for having that conversation. No, I thought maybe you have something. Okay. Story. I have something. Oh. Um, okay. okay. Bolo. We're having that conversation. Brief time skip as we figure out what else we want to talk about. No, I thought maybe you have something. Okay, way. I have something oh. on the Kree okay. of Blitz. William told me we need Skeeter needs to humble the fuck up. And I <laughs> I agree. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ja, takže Oliver by mal byť ako, okej, okay, Oliverovi stúplo ego, ty vole. I like this whole thing with like, yeah, I watch some CS tournament, blah, 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 and that's why I'm non-stop running my mouth on Twitter now. Yeah. Is, is that, much, there's no way, dude. Listen, listen, how that's come, pretty much how come, Okay, but how you come it aligns like... with winning two tournaments? Why didn't okay, you watch CS I'll, until I'll, you won two okay. tournaments and then you start yapping? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll explain everything to you. So, <laughs> I couldn't really do it on Tundra because I told you we had a very, very specific a uh, list of like not the rules but like fundamentals that we would follow and one of them was like not to kind of bring too much attention to yourself and i respected it and i still respect it to this day i think it's very um very um it's one of the correct ways to approach dora to kind of not get emotionally invested and the reason why i kind of wanted to tip my toes into the, being more controversial or bring more attention to myself is because i got kind of inspired by malorin and amar Because they do it and they can successfully pull it off, and on to, on top of that, we kind of co coincidentally also started winning. 
I don't know about that. It all kind of aligned. And then hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where was this in Kuala Lumpur, dude? We didn't win shit. What do you mean? Exactly. So why is it coming after you win? No, but but it's it's natural. What do you mean? You okay, cannot talk year, shit when you're losing. Last year, Quinn and God Eaters dumped on us like for one year straight. Zero times did I see tweets about how Liquid was gonna suck ass in the upcoming Dream League from Snaking. <laughs> Zero times. Wait, did what? Tofu, what is? Wait, zero what is times did Tofu say that I'm gonna suck ass in Dream League next year. Wait, season. what? What did Snaking say? I don't understand. I think he was just joking. I'm not mad actually. I'm just here to humble. Well, why, why not? Why not connect to me then? I mean, you guys both kind of went off on Twitter. No, but I'm telling you, that, that's that's sort of why I think we are doing it, because we are like surrounded by different people, and then obviously if you're winning, I feel like your argument is just wrong. I see. You cannot, you cannot be loud mouth when you're losing. That's just embarrassing. But I feel like Amar always was loud mouth, you know? And I feel like yeah, even you know, if Malreen is losing, the, the question marks are going to be there, no? I mean, I mean, he played in Namiga. I don't know if he was the same back then. Was he was not? not. He was not. Oh, well, there you go. I'm lucky. Well, I okay, so I will just say you you still got to talk some shit when you're losing, you know? Think about emo, like, uh, emo in the question mark. I also think it's it a, cannot stop fully. I also respect more when you're willing to go out there and say something when you're losing, right? Because really? I, 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 yes, because I, because it's, it's like the thing that you were talking about, Skeeter, where you said that Maureen stepped over the line when he talked shit after you guys won, right? For me, some of what, like, the tipping was going on and stuff like that, like, why I was backing uh, Extreme, why I emotionally felt for Extreme so much is because you guys, from an outside perspective, were just beating the shit out of them <laughs> over and over and over again, right? You guys were 7-0 and against them, right? And th that kind of leads, it's the same thread, right? When you've already won, when you're already beating the shit out of somebody, you know, like, Talking that talk will will naturally evoke some uh, emotional. But but if you if you're willing to stay something even when you are losing, I, there is an element of respect I have for that. No, but you need to understand something, right? You're mm -hmm. saying you're cheering against us, mm -hmm. but I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. That just means that I agree. no matter no matter the game we're gonna play for, we're gonna have audience to cheer for us. No, not for us, but like in some way emotionally invested, either for us or against us. Yep. Some people might yep. love the old shootings, some people might, might want to see us lose every game. To je presne jako by ta vec, že jako by tieto veci a tieto dramátka, ono to proste pekne krásne, prinesie, dajme tomu, už je jedna hodina v noci, nejaký peč, ehm, nič. Za hodinu chat, tak za hodinu. And that only happens because we have these people. A za hodinu už to musí prísť, alebo to tam hodí yeah, zajtra, no? I don't, think, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think we disagree with that at all. No, no, I think everybody no. agrees. We just, so, I just so, think you need to, you know like when Seb was losing and he says it's a low skill patch? And I like, think it's embarrassing. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, that's, embarrassing. That's, that's, that's like, then, then you're true to yourself, you know? Like you're actually like, holy shit, you know, this guy, like he's the same, win or lose. It's not just because okay. like, right now What's I'm winning, so everybody shut okay, up. Like, let me, I, let me, let me explain. What's the problem when you are sucking ass you're gonna put your head down, work as as hard as you can to make yourself good, and once you achieve this this status, then you talk shit. No, but you what's do the, both. What's, what's the problem? What's the problem while, with that? While your head is down, you still say, I'm gonna become king of the pirates, you because know? Punching down is easy. Punching yeah. up is hard. That's like, okay, imagine like, okay, okay, Skeeter, imagine like, you know, I'm like getting beat by gladiators, and I'm like, they're so bad, I'm gonna trash them next time I see them. You know? It's kind of hype. It'll make the tournament hype, you know? I mean, like, you're, you're, you're looking for like, and then yes, I get three zero the, again. Okay, but this is why you are playing the fucking underdog card. You already have yeah, people cheering that... for you because the people want to see you win because you know, like they want to see the big dogs lose anyways. Yeah, but that's so, what I mean. So might as well spice it up and then be the fucking villain. I mean, that's fine too. But then you should. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, but that, but that's how many people think that they're going to win. That they're going to win. That they're going to win. That Proste jednak si akoby tými výkonmi a všetkým ako nájdu hrozne moc ako fanúšikov toho gameplayu a tak ďalej. Jednak si nájdu ľudí, ktorí majú radi takéto ako smiley faceovanie a toto akoby je proste. Ale jednak si to nájde aj veľmi veľa ľudí, ktorí to budú hejtovať a ktorí to budú aj hejtvočovať. Alebo ktorí to budú pozerať len preto, aby to vyhral nejaký iný tým. Jo? Takže overall proste tým ako očetovanie všetkým akoby spôsobia, že budú ľudia viac proste investovaný do tých sérií, kde hrajú Falconi, či už im fandia, alebo fandia proti ním, proste, no. A ono to jako dáva zmysel. I, I, don't, 
I mean, I feel like if you I mean, only talk me, shit when you're winning, sense. it's the ultimate like. Oh, what? How do you say this word? And uh, bitch move. Like it's the <laughs> ultimate bitch move. <laughs> how do you say this word? <laughs> how do what? Yo, insane that I'm never going to say the right word. And then bitch move. And then never. Našel som najlepšie slovné spojenie. Ale ja to ako by chápem v tomto role, ako by ho čo sa tam ako bavia, že je pravda, že proste až keď ako vyhrávaš, tak ten tvoj nejaký opinion až ako má nejakú váhu a keď budeš proste no name shit, čo nikdy ako by nič nevyhral, tak nikto negivuje fakt a môžeš kľudne mať ako nejaké tie názory, ale majú všetci v píči. Jo? I don't know. I was looking for the right word, but what I couldn't find it. What is it in Swedish? What is it in Swedish? I no, I know. wanted to say, okay, I was going to say bitch move, or I was going to say pussy, but I felt like I don't know if either of these are safe for podcast. Oh, okay. So I took a second, and then I said, you know what, <laughs> fuck it. It's a bitch move. Because if you only talk shit when you're winning, nobody can say anything back. So that's why, like, you need to, like, run with it. Like, this year, you just say, like, it's like the shit talk arc, you know? And you just do it all year long. And then, like, if you guys are losing, it's a low skill patch or whatever. And like you keep running with it, I will respect you more than if you only talk shit while you're winning. Yeah, dude, if Amar, I mean, if you guys are in that finals and you guys are down 2-1, and Amar at the end of the game is just like, just till just wait till next game, clowns, you know? Like, like game three, dude, I'll, I'm just like, holy yeah. fuck, this guy's in. I'm ready. Let's go. I mean, I mean, I mean, the thing is like, I think Amar has been doing it the whole time. So yeah. I don't think there needs to be more of this, you know. I don't sure. think you want to have like five five people that are just constantly spamming something <laughs> on chat or somewhere. Like I feel like jo, to... you have to have some moderation. Jo, jo, to musí být vždycky prostě jeden dvaja z toho týmu, který jako nějak jsou uh, dajme tomu viac aktivní nějakými jako typmi, all chatmi, uh, nevím, voice lineami a tak dále, no. Víte, to nemůže zase jako by všetci pětí do píči tam budou furt vypisovat kokotiny a nikdo nebude hrát ani do tu. Yeah. At the end of the, like, you know, at the same time, I kind of realize, maybe I'm not built for this life. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, we'll see how it goes. I do yeah. think, I will... as somebody who has watched Dota for like 15 plus years now, I do think that there, you touched on something that I thought was very, very interesting. I think there is a philosophical difference There, there is an attitude towards what it takes to win in Dota that has evolved over the years. Uh, and I really like that you touched, I think you were kind of touching on that, Skeeter, where it was like, you know, you guys at Tundra, just fucking, you guys were had a less emotional approach to Dota, right? And you're saying yep. you watched Amar and Malreen, who were more emotional, and you saw that they could win doing it, right? You didn't have to be, you know, like unemotional, more, you know, robotic, like take yourself out of the element, take your ego out of the element. You saw somebody who could put their ego on the line, who could put themselves out there, be more emotional and still excel at the highest levels. And I think that's really interesting because I did notice that shift of early days in Dota where there was a lot more ego and emotion back then. Uh, and there was this shift of like, people had this idea that you could, you needed to be less emotional. Uh, and I think it's interesting that you're now saying, like, vlnách, you personally mňa. have seen where you can like, oh, I can now... Tam jakoby podľa mňa ide čisto o to, ktoré, ke- keď sú jakoby dominantné týmy, ako boli napríklad Tundráci, vtedy na tom jako tí jaj, čo vyhrali, a, a, alebo keď boli, čo ja viem, OG, uh, keď vyhrali tie dve tí za sebou, dajme tomu, tak to jakoby ide vždycky v tých vlnách. Protože ktorý tým je top a ktorý tým proste vyhráva, tak podľa toho, čo ten tým má za approach, alebo má za ten prístup k tomu, či ako by sú to vole all chat, ego boys, jo, vole clown fiesty, alebo, alebo proste je to fakt ako full try hard, žiadne správy, všetci mutnutí, proste a e, e, ide sa hrať ako by čisto ty vole dotáč, čo najlepšie ako sa dá, každý milimeter vole a každé všetko vytraje hardi čo najviac. Vždycky ako by proste tam ako záleží, proste každý ten rok svieti niečo iné, každému ako vyhovuje niečo iné. Ale vždycky to jako tak nějak jako počítá podle toho top týmu mi přijde, no. že prostě ten tým, který fakt jako dominuje nejvíc a hraje jako by takou a takou dotu, jako si bože, tak ten rok prostě fungovalo to ono. Kind of Ale like to je pro mě hrozně individu- individuálně jako v rámci hráčů a týmu. I don't have to, to necessarily I mean, hear I, what I can, I, can, were. I can elaborate on this like yeah. that's, that is like a very very good thing that I've learned is that I've I've won on teams where we are like like just Dota driven and then on teams like Falcons where we are more like open to trash talk and that's what kind of proves to me there's multiple approaches to Dota like you know mentality team wise and then in-game in-game 
fundamentals as well. And it, it, it just makes me feel like this is a very beautiful game and, and it's just great that we have opportunity to play this. And they, like Malrin and Amar specifically, they inspire me a lot just because of how different they are as humans. Mm -hmm. And we kind of like, you know, try to improve each other. And it's just a, it's just a great, it's just a great thing that I, I can get to experience such a different vibe and still be winning. It's, it's a great thing. The, uh, can, can I ask uh, who on Tundra led that uh, idea for you? Like, who is the person that most strongly instilled that idea back on Tundra? Uh, it was, I think it was uh, AOI and Neta. I think those mm. two, like, were, like, very heavy on the whole, like, Dora and, you know, like, as efficient communication and as efficient gameplay as possible, and then everything else is just waste, wasted, wasted and motion, you know? Oh. Okay, so that that is what I thought. So my question is, how has AUI, how how does AUI view Falcons now? Like oh, working with Maureen and Amar, what's his? Uh, how does he feel? About he, it? Thinks it, he thinks that clowns. <laughs> <laughs> but uh just it's just you obviously aw it was to but it's just just a clown you know like go yo ale oni su to fuck dobrý clown ni fuck kurva dobrý clown ni v dote to je to i mean they, i mean you can you can see like he has he has had a great impact on our team like i mean we played the Kuala Lumpur tournament without him we got top 6 which you know it's it's pretty good result for 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 like a starting team but we knew we can do more and then the moment he joined us you can see like the the, the success like started happening immediately so the guy is like insanely valuable like I'm, I'm sure he could make any team he comes to coach better like just straight up you so think i'm just very ha very happy from a team culture wise do you think he helps bring balance oh he dude that's the thing about him he does everything yeah like no matter no matter what you need to be done he'll do it like hmm. you need him to fix the comms he will do it he need to to fix the laning stage he will do it you know some item builds he will do it like he just does it all, you know. I was gonna say he's also I think just super he's a nerd guy too. He's great. Guy. Oh, for sure. He's, he's a character, you know. Yeah. Very nice guy. I was gonna say I think you'd need the there's a balance to these things because I think like if you do too much of like one side, you're, like it's only about the vibes and zero about the Dota. I've been down that road, and I think if you go all the way to only Dota stuff, I think for some people it can be kind of draining. So I think having like a middle ground, and it, it'll be different depending on what team you're in. I'm sure like. What you guys did on Tundra worked because it was like you specific, that specific five group of people. I don't think you can do the same thing with Malrean and ATF. Like, I, I don't know, but like just from the outside, it would have to like lean in a different direction. I'm sure like if you told them like, I'm going to find you every time you all chat, they would lose enjoyment for playing the game too. Like it would... They'd you know, probably tank the fines. Maybe. But I, I, <laughs> the point is like, I think you always have to adjust like where those lines go depending on the group. I mean, okay, let me just tell you one thing. I agree with what you says, but yeah. I would never go that route with fines. Like, yeah, of course like, not, of course not. Because I, I did try, like, at the start of this team, we did try to kind of uh, explain to them that, in my opinion, all trading takes away the focus from the game. But after some time, I kind of realized maybe it's not the truth for everyone. Mm. So I just kind of, at the start, I tried to understand um, how they work. And I kind of understand that I just need to let them do whatever they're doing and what makes them feel good because if they feel good they'll play good sure yeah. do you think is there any strategic element to the the all chat because i feel like for og there was a strategic element to what they did to the tipping yeah, and the sprays I mean, and and that sort of thing i mean thing. i already i already said earlier like i actually empower, i empower more in all chatting because i think you know if they don't have it muted i'm sure they're getting tilted from this like someone on that team is reading the all chat and, and they're saying why the fuck is he Triple Russian smiling facing me right now in the middle of the game, you know? <laughs> Why is this on my screen? I'm like, oh, well, let's fucking go. Someone is tilted, you know? <laughs> yes, so yes, the yes, reason yes. I, I brought this back up is I had a conversation with SVG recently, and he was of the opinion, uh, and I wanted to field your guys' responses on this. He was of the opinion that the all chat and those things don't matter to the players. And what he felt basically was that championship players will not be affected negatively by these things that the best the best competitors will not be affected negatively by these things and if they're negatively affected by it then you know they they'll just mute and then move on 
do you guys uh, agree with that statement or do you think it actually i think it has more impact than he 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 views it uh i feel like the, the point is when you mute the guy you lost the battle no, you didn't. You literally did. You literally did. I, I can't. I can't take no. you. I'm just gonna mute you. Like, okay, 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 okay. You lost the argument. battle. I have an argument. What if you just mute everyone be before they do anything? What battle do you no. lose? Like, it's like okay, you know, that is a mentality thing, and then you're just like you've given up in period, and that's fine. That's like your <laughs> permanent state of mind. Fuck. Your permanent state of mind is just I'm muting everyone. All right, all good. I get it. But if you're muting a specific person. Like, oh, I'm playing versus Falcons. I have to mute Maureen and ATF. Then you're losing the battle. Like, no, yeah, yeah. That, that, that one's fine. If you're meeting a particular yeah. person, that one, yeah. that one I understand. No, sure, I sure. Yeah. Like but the, nobody like, does that. Nobody does that. I'm sure there are people that don't mute everyone, but mute specific people. I don't know. I feel like most, almost everybody is one or all. Or sorry, none or all. You can mute all of them, or you have to I mean, my teammates mute, I think, mostly. Like, teams that like, chat a lot, I think they mute. Uh... But they already lost. Like, I agree with you. Like, if you mute, if you mute specific teams, like, you yeah, lost. Like, you're already thinking about you... No, but, but listen to me. Like, what I do, in pubs, I do not mute a single person. But every yeah. time we play scrim in the lobby, I mute everyone. In the official, in the lobby, I mute everyone. And that's it. Because, like, for me, one is work and one is fun. When I'm in pub, I'll fucking talk shit. But you know, once it comes to the work, like no fucking around for me, you know. Like you're I'm not gonna fuck with me with some old shit. Hell. I'm man. just saying. Okay, okay. Let's see it from like the side of like the guy that talks shit, right? He loses nothing by talking shit. Either you're muting him or he's like talking shit to you. He's he always loses running. some focus. I I, I dis yeah I disagree with that as well. Quinn. No Go way, dude. No, no, for sure. Also, it like the thing is, is if you're if you, like. There is some people who would not be able to pull off the all chatting that Amar and Maureen do. Because if you're afraid, if you're, there's any thought in your mind that has like a fear of the you know, hand striking you whenever it comes back, like then it will affect you more than it yeah. affects them, I think. Yeah. Yes. But I, I think, okay, the point here was, is it a competitive edge or not? And I think it is. It is, 100%. I think it is if... a competitive edge for the people that can pull it off and like dish it out and take it back and like it doesn't affect them. Because I dude, think Maureen, there are dude, people Maureen out there is... that... Like, even championship players, I'm sure, that do get affected by this. And mm -hmm. that's why, you know, they end up muting them. But I'm yes, not, I mean, I'm not like, I'm not putting anyone down. It was the question of, is it a competitive edge or not? I think it is. And, like, do I think everyone should do it? Absolutely not. Like, it's probably, like, very specific to them being able to, you know, talk shit and play the game at the same time. And I'll see them when they're 30 you, you, you and they're, you, you like, their training, hands are shaking and they're trying to, like, fucking press their button. <laughs> Tam to musí být velmi velmi veselé, jako by chipsy. Correctly, to have time to press enter and like Russian smiley. But that's like 13 years in the future, and we don't know if Dora is even going to be around. But I promise you, there will come a day when it's not as free to just talk shit and get shit on back and like press your keyboard buttons correctly. Because I know now, compared to when I was 17, that it's not as free. A to se už řekne. I mean, I wanted to say that like. Um... One thing that I admire about Maureen, I know he doesn't really affect him because when he plays Dora, he's on Discord with his friends, he's talking with, with us in real life, and he's just a fucking multitasking, like, a, I don't know, I've never seen this, like, I would never do it myself, really? you know, so, yeah, like, he's talking with his Russian friends on Discord, he takes his headphones, and then he's, like, fucking stopping on some kid on mid, you know, at the same time in ranked, so I'm like, okay, this guy... There's no way he takes away from him when he ultrates some some guy in in our officials, and I know the other guy is not trained for this, but I know my guy is. So you know it doesn't. It, it, yeah, if yeah, he ultrates yeah. backs, like we have one. Yeah, yeah, pravda, že člověk jako by chtěl, jak by používal přesně taky toto ultratování, typování, jo, a hlavně voice liney. Tak ty ty jako by musíš by podle mě musíš mít jako no mě nadobudnutý skill, aby si to jako věděl robit. Uh, aby tě to nějak jako neoplivně zdrželo až tak moc a tak jako ďalej. Aby si to prostě rýchlo jako napísal a tak ďalej, že tak to, 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 to musíš mít těž jako vybu, vybudovaný skill, no. It's gone. So, uh, just to confirm, Maureen and Amar didn't, uh, didn't uh, have a more negative reaction after you guys lost and you, there was the pause and the GG easies and all the, the smileys that came out from, from Extreme. No, that's 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 the thing. Like they are like super nice people. Like this is all like they're not really emotionally invested in in these things at all. It's just a not, like it's a daily routine. Yeah. It's it's just nothing more than that. Okay.
Well, I think that uh, I think that's a nice place to be able to to wrap it up. You guys got anything else you want to talk about? Ooh, I just want to clarify. I mean, no disrespect to people. Skitter bonus story. It's completely fine and fair. <laughs> it's just you are losing the battle. It's just how. It is. <laughs> Dude, you you see you. you I, I don't mean anything except I knew for your cringe L I plus ratio plus your ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mute people too. I lose the battle all the time. I'm I'm just saying you do take the L. Like you do take the L. It's just how, sometimes you just take the L. It's it's fine. Life moves on. You know, some days like I'll get tipped by some dude and I'm like, there's just no fucking way this guy is tipping me. And then you know I'll be mad about it. And he won that battle. For sure. I also take L's. I'm just saying. No disrespect, but that's how it is. So this is normally where we would have closed out the podcast, but uh, what I have found as we have done this podcast uh, over time is that we close out the podcast and then we end up having a conversation for an hour, or in this case, four hours. Uh, and there are definitely interesting conversations, a lot of it not for broadcast, but some of it is, and I'm going to pick some of those pieces out. Ale kepala, my chceme ty vole nějaké to juicy stuff, ale dobré, no. Uh, Má to být nějaká bonus like story od Skittera, tak se pozdravím. Uh, this would probably be something that we would, you know, if we were to do a few Patreon in the future, it would be like a little bonus extra half hour or something like that. But uh, there's a little bit of time skip here, but here we are. Uh, I wanted to ask, do you remember my tweet when I played in Penta and I said we're going to expose all the overrated teams? No. You don't? Oh, no. I don't remember this. Dude, uh, okay, okay. I have, I have one story. Okay. I was just coming from pubs. I was like, I thought I'm hot shit. It was like 2017. I played in, in some fucking TI qualifier. It was on the Team Penta Sports. And then I thought I'm some hot shit. So I tweeted, time to expose all the overrated teams. And then you and got guess what? We, we got absolutely fucked. And that's why I realized competitive scene in pubs are way fucking different, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Is that when you lost us in Cool Beans? Like the um, Lycan I don't game? know. I think I think he you might have been alliance already. Fair Fair alliance? Okay. Maybe. I just know I there's know. one video we always make fun of jobs for. It's like Dream uh, TI calls. We played Dota for like six months. And we're playing against you guys on Penta. That might have been dead then. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead. And the first game of the day is like ten AM in the morning. We played like a two hour game where I think you're Lycan and Jobs is disruptor. And I'm Rubik and Mick is Invoker. And it's just like the worst game of Dota ever. But we end up beating you guys and it's the only game we win. And then you guys like actually, I think, do pretty decently in the call. Or something. Or like it was like the, if you won that one game, you would have made it out of groups or some shit. I don't know. But it was Not just like a humbling games. experience for myself back then. Yeah. You know, a little kid, little kid coming from house thinking it. he's, you know, he knows. Yeah. It would have been a banger tweet though if you, if you guys did win a bunch of games though. <laughs> you know something really uh, funny? Yeah. Mm. On Tundra, you guys call gladiators frauds. I just realized it's not just a ski and another thing because he says this all the time. He's like, Wait, say again, say again. You know, Nera keeps saying it's time to expose the frauds whenever we play gladiators. Yeah. And you said it too during the thing. So I understand now this is from Tundra. Dude, I like, I was saying that like coming to this season, I was saying, we, you know, we're going to expose gladiators for the frauds. Yeah. And now after we win those two, these two tournaments, I keep saying, it's time to expose, like I'm waiting for someone to expose us for the frauds we are, you know? I, I, fl I flipped it around. <laughs> yeah, you've been defrauded. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been exposed. Yeah. You wanna know something really funny, Cap? Yeah. After I switched to Dota from home, Skeeter was the first person to ask me to join his team. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah, based on a pub. He said, you talk so much, I think you'd be good if you try to become pro. I remember, the, I remember the game vividly. You played Lion, I remember. And you that's were like, true. True. oh, I have a lot finger some bullshit. Let's go. And I'm like, holy shit, this guy knows. Like he has a spell and he can use it. He's, communi <laughs> he's communicating it. <laughs> this is unprecedented. It's fucking crazy. Shit. Oh, so good. It's funny how bad you were back then. Holy crap. That that really was like some sick communication. I mean, Dude, like, was, he, I, he lets me know he has a spell and he wants to use it. Like, yeah. well, what the fuck? Let's go. I mean, I came from Han, and if you played support in Han, it's like, you know how, like, these Ducalises and Ekis are nowadays? Like, they're open mic entire game. That was the meta in Han. Like, if you didn't play open mic, you would lose every game. So that's, like, what I came to Dota, like, being used to. And then, like, over the years, I've become less of a microphone user because I felt like nobody in Dota does it. And it's, like, cringe. 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 There was a period where it was considered to be cringe. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. To use Mike? Yeah. I know, yeah. 
Really? I mean, I think the older generation, like the Matozai, <laughs> whatever, I think they definitely thought it's like kind of cringe to open mic. Dude, Zai oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. If you use mic, Zai would for sure be like, dude, this guy won't like, shut I could, up. I could, I could, they would literally call mic users. Like, yeah, fucking right. mic users. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> using <laughs> mic was really Zai. cringe. Hopefully, shed the feature Zai tomorrow. Like, I could get, feel it in the back of... Ale já to úplně chápem, protože když tam zájmal zapnuté prostě na těch publikoch, tam mal zapnutý nějaký ten stream a mal tam tu jeho prostě typickou hudbu a jel si tam svůj vibe, víš co zaj? A někdo mu tam do toho prostě kecá kurva do mikrofonu, do píči furt, no tak ale kurva. Mike, what the fuck? Yeah, I could feel it. Like, I could feel Mata's eyes like look over, you know, if I'm using Mike in the pub. He's like, why do you care so much? <laughs> And story two. Okay, so when we were in Berlin... <laughs> I think like we were dropped we dropped onto lower bracket pretty early and then at some point we had to play tundra and like there was like a day off and then we played tundra or something and then during like the the like before the day off or whatever wait no it wasn't a day off actually never mind so we were just playing tundra the next day i think and everyone's like for some reason like all the russians are thinking about going to some club and like for whatever why am i down in the bar actually i can't remember this properly <laughs> But for whatever okay, reason, both, okay, me and, both me and Skeeter are down at, like, the bar area of the hotel. And Skeeter's, like, trying to convince me to go out with the Russians. Because Roger was, like, really on me. He's like, yo, let's go. Let's go to the club. It's going to be fun. Let's go to the club. And Skeeter's like, if you decide to go to the club, I will pay for all your alcohol. Everyone's alcohol there. I'll pay for a limo to come pick you up <laughs> and drive you there and come back. And he was he meant it. I truly believe from the bottom of my heart he meant it because he was like, I'm gonna grief his like tournament tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> that was the time, I to sabotage you. Yes, at 100%. the time, Tundra could not beat us to save their life. Like yes. no matter what happened in the game, they could be a billion thousand gold ahead. They could be like two racks up, our throne has like 40 HP, and then like God would come down and like razor ulti them and they just all like take a billion damage and you know somehow they'd lose. No matter how well they played, no matter how perfect they were, at the end of the day, they would just lose against us. For whatever reason. I have no idea why. Some games they would get crushed in lane, some games they would crush late game. It just made no sense. For whatever reason, Thunder were not allowed to beat us for like two years. And this was like his uh, way to... Dude, I was... Oliver, you just wanted to do it all, you know? I was like, you know, like, you know, like, the Russians want this guy to go, I'm playing him tomorrow, let's fucking do it, you know? I'll, I'll, make, your, I'll make your night the best out of your life. I know it was a short bonus a little bit there, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Apologies if you noticed any time skips in the episodes lately, as I'm trying to create an atmosphere where pros and insiders can come and talk freely, and, uh, you know, if they overshare something that isn't meant for public, then we work around that. Uh, ultimately, my goal for this podcast has been to draw more stories of Pro Dota from behind the scenes and let you guys experience the players' stories and personalities in a more intimate setting. And doing that requires some little bit of a balance act. Takže věc byl jako by velmi něco podobné jako co malé a například rozhovor s minulým že jsem skýtal malé bota, nebo nějaký dlhší. Ale podcast jako s takto zvýšenými to je krása krása.